Hi, my name is David Uchebu and I'm the Managing Director of Cedro Construction. So this current facility is, um, that we're currently at is Orange Apartments, the Olu at Oba, and it comprises one, two and three bedroom apartments. So in this building behind me, we have eight units of one bed, 15 units of two bed, and 18 units of three bed. The gross floor area of this building is 2,700 square meters and it's across four floors and a pent floor. And so it shows that we've really been able to maximize this space, which is more or less like what Cedro Construction stands for, making the best out of that little space that you have. And the interesting thing about this is, of course, the fully service apartment, so it covers uh, the basic needs of, of every Nigerian home user. So you have the um, steady power supply, you have internet, you have security, and security is both man security and um, CCTV surveillance. So you're sure that at all times there is physical presence and and there is protection on your property. Yeah, so construction basically for us is, is um, home ownership. So it's beyond what happens on site. It's both what happens before site and after site. So that is um, everything about pre-construction activities to the construction itself and to post-construction. I'm breaking that down. So construction for us is in, is in two phases. You are either buying as an investment or for yourself. And so that's why, of course, civil construction is part of the life page group. And for life page group, there are also three um, three major parts and we also try to manage it end to end so from land acquisition there is a segment for that to construction which is my own forte to everything about uh, post construction your facility management and all of that so what we try to do with the construction is and that's also what sets us apart from from other property development companies is that we take you on a journey so it's more like a journey it's not it's not a one-off event so from the point where you're buying the land we're there with you to the design stage we're there with you to when you come to site we're there with you and of course we also ask we also ask very critical questions because client satisfaction, client satisfaction is very key for us so is, are you planning to stay there are you planning to rent it out that's also because that will inform what's going to what, what it's going to look like so in terms of um, as i said it's it's either investment or or for for yourself or for it's either you're, in, you're doing that investment or if you want to stay in so in cases where of course it's for investment and you're looking at getting rental income that's about space maximization and make getting the most out of out of um, that little piece of land that you have and that's exactly what has played out on this property behind me here okay so why should people partner with life i think i've pretty much elaborated on that that it's beyond where we're beyond that that one-time encounter it's it's more about the journey it's more about um, helping you achieve your dream of home ownership and home ownership of course is very relative so home ownership for for a millionaire is different from someone earning in thousands and also different from someone earning billions so whatever stage you are you are at see the um, life age group is there for you so are you looking at um, building your first home with with the little income you have are you looking at building your tenth or fifth are you looking at um, doing it for rental income just whatever category of of um, just, just, just whichever of these categories you fall into, we are there for you. Yes, so um, this is already rounding up. We have a produce that started already. That's the almond advantage which I said already. And like I'd also said earlier, so it's for it's, it's a bit low low income. So if you if you cannot key into this, that's also something that you can key into. And the upgraded version is also what we're doing at Bagada. So for Ikorodu, we have um, for almond advantage, um, Agbawa Ikorodu. We have one and two bedroom apartments and there are 100 units. That's the first phase. And then um, for Milena Mestit Bagada, which is also a very prime environment, we have uh, terrace apartments, four bedroom terraces, which is now an upgrade to what we have here. Yes. So that's just to explain that for whichever category you fall into, we have a product for you.
Hi, my name is David Uchebu and I'm the Managing Director of Cedro Construction. So this present facility is uh, that we're currently at is Orange Apartments, the Olu Estate Oba, and it comprises one, two and three bedroom apartments. So in this building behind me, we have eight units of one bed, 15 units of two bed, and eight units of three bed. The gross floor area of this building is 2,700 square meters and it's across four floors and the pent floor. And so it shows that we've really been able to maximize this space, which is more or less like what Cedro Construction stands for, making the best out of that little space that you have. And the interesting thing about this is, of course, the fully serviced apartment, so it covers uh, the basic needs of, of every Nigerian home user. So you have um, steady power supply, you have internet, you have security. And security is both manned security and um, CCTV surveillance. So you're sure that at all times there is physical presence and and there is protection on your property. Yeah, so construction basically for us is, is um, home ownership. So it's beyond what happens on site. It's both what happens before site and after site. So that is um, everything about pre-construction activities to the construction itself and to post-construction. I'm breaking that down. So construction for us is in, is in two phases. You're either buying as an investment or for yourself. And so that's why, of course, civil construction is part of the life page group. And for life page group, there are also three um, three major parts and we also try to manage it end to end so from land acquisition there is a segment for that to construction which is my own forte to everything about uh, post-construction your facility management and all of that so what we'll try to do with the construction is and that's also what sets us apart from from other property development companies is that we take you on a journey so it's more like a journey it's not it's only one-off event so from the point where you're buying the land we're there with you to the design stage we're there with you to when you come to site we're there with you and of course we also ask we also ask very critical questions because client satisfaction, client satisfaction is very key for us so is, are you planning to stay there are you planning to rent it out that's also all the things that will inform what's going to what, what it's going to look like so in terms of um, as i said it's it's either investment or or for for yourself or for it's either you're, in, you're doing that investment or if you want to stay in so in cases where, of course, it's for investment and you're looking at getting rental income, that's about space maximization and make, getting the most out of out of um, that little piece of land that you have. And that's exactly what has played out on this property behind me here. Okay, so why should people partner with LifeBridge? I think I've pretty much elaborated on that, that it's beyond where we are beyond that that one-time encounter. It's, it's more about the journey. It's more about um, helping you achieve your dream of home ownership and home ownership of course is very relative so home ownership for for a millionaire is different from someone earning in thousands and also different from someone earning billions so whatever stage you are you are at see the um, life age group is there for you so are you looking at um, building your first home with with the little income you have are you looking at building your tenth or fifth are you looking at um, doing it for rental income just whatever category of of um, just, just, just whichever of these categories you fall into, we are there for you. Yes, so um, this is already rounding up. We have a produce that started already. That's the our month advantage we just said already. And like I'd also said earlier, so it's for it's, it's a bit low low income. So if you if you cannot key into this, that's also something that you can key into. And the upgraded version is also what we're doing at Bagada. So for Ikorodu, we have um, for the album advantage, um, Agbawa Ikorodu. We have one and two bedroom apartments and there are 100 units. That's the first phase. And then um, for Milena Mestit Bagada, which is also a very prime environment, we have um, terrace apartments, four bedroom terraces, which is now an upgrade to what we have here. Yes. So that's just to explain that for whichever category you fall into, we have a product for you.
Hi, my name is David Uchebu and I'm the Managing Director of Cedro Construction. So this present facility is, um, that we're currently at is Orange Apartments, the Old West in Oba, and it comprises one, two and three bedroom apartments. So in this building behind me, we have eight units of one bed, 15 units of two bed, and eight units of three bed. The gross floor area of this building is 2,700 square meters and it's across four floors and the pent floor. And so it shows that we've really been able to maximize this space, which is more or less like what Cedro Construction stands for, making the best out of that little space that you have. And the interesting thing about this is, of course, the fully serviced apartment, so it covers uh, the basic needs of, of every Nigerian home user. So you have um, steady power supply, you have internet, you have security, and security is both man security and um, CCTV surveillance. So you're sure that at all times there is physical presence and and there is protection on your property. Yeah, so construction basically for us is, is um, home ownership. So it's beyond what happens on site. It's both what happens before site and after site. So that is um, everything about pre-construction activities to the construction itself and to post-construction. I'm breaking that down. So construction for us is in, is in two phases. You're either buying as an investment or for yourself. And so that's why, of course, civil construction is part of the life page group. And for life page group, there are also three um, three major parts and we also try to manage it end to end so from land acquisition there is a segment for that to construction which is my own forte to everything about uh, post construction your facility management and all of that so what we'll try to do with studio construction is and that's also what sets us apart from from other property development companies is that we take you on a journey so it's more like a journey it's not it's only one off event so from the point where you're buying the land we're there with you to the design stage we're there with you to when you come to site we're there with you and of course we also ask we also ask very critical questions because client satisfaction, client satisfaction is very key for us so it, are you planning to stay there are you planning to rent it out that was also called that we inform what's going to what, what it's going to look like so in terms of um, as i said it's it's either investment or or for for yourself or for it's either you're, in, you're doing that investment or if you want to stay in so in cases where of course it's for investment and you're looking at getting rental income that's about space maximization and make getting the most out of out of um, that little piece of land that you have and that's exactly what has played out on this property behind me here okay so why should people partner with life i think i've pretty much elaborated on that that it's beyond we are we are beyond that that one-time encounter it's it's more about the journey it's more about um, helping you achieve your dream of home ownership and home ownership of course is very relative so home ownership for for a millionaire is different from someone earning in thousands and also different from someone earning billions so whatever stage you are you are at see the um, life age group is there for you so are you looking at um, building your first home with with the little income you have are you looking at building your tent or fifth are you looking at um, doing it for rental income just whatever category of of um, just, just, just whichever of these categories you fall into, we are there for you. Yes, so um, this is already rounding up. We have a produce that started already. That's the almond advantage just said already. And like I'd also said earlier, so it's for it's, it's a bit low low income. So if you if you cannot key into this, that's also something that you can key into. And the upgraded version is also what we're doing at Bagada. So for Ikorodu, we have um, for almond advantage, um, Agbawa Ikorodu. We have one and two bedroom apartments and they are 100 units that's the first phase and then um, for Milena Mestit Bagada which is also a very prime environment we have uh, terrace apartments four bedroom terraces which is an upgrade to what we have here yes. so that's just to explain that for whichever category you fall into we have a product for you
Hello everyone, and welcome to the Global Wealth Creation Summit 2021 edition. Have you heard the saying that we are defined by the choices we make? It means who you are, whether rich or underserved, is a reflection of the choices you have made. You have made the right choice by being here today, and we are pleased to have you. If you're here on site or joining us virtually, we would like you to know that this year's edition is power packed and we can't wait to receive our speakers, Mr. Oladipupo Clement, Dr. Olumide Emmanuel, and Dr. Sam Adeyemi. We promise that this will blow your mind and leave an indelible mark in your lives as we share gems and insightful knowledge that will enable your financial liberation. Are you ready? Then, let us begin. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Global Wealth Creation Summit 2021 edition. Have you heard the saying, that we are defined by the choices we make. It means who you are, whether rich or underserved, is a reflection of the choices you have made. You have made the right choice by being here today, and we are pleased to have you. If you're here on site or joining us virtually, we would like you to know that this year's edition is power packed, and we can't wait to receive our speakers, Mr. Oladipupo Clement, Dr. Olumide Emmanuel and Dr. Sam Adeyemi. We promise that this will blow your mind and leave an indelible mark in your lives as we share gems and insightful knowledge that will enable your financial liberation. Are you ready? Then let us begin. All right. Good, good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you may be joining us from all over the world. I want to especially appreciate everyone for taking time to be a part of this. I'm very certain that it's going to be a time of your life. Uh, without further ado, let me just go straight up i'm just being a foreigner you know in this session i have two giants that are going to be speaking uh, to us later today um, the moment i'm done so let me speak to us briefly on wealth mindset or developing a wealth mindset um just to lay a little background please bear with me I'm very conscious, I'm in two worlds now. It's like I'm speaking to people here and I'm speaking to people watching us also online. And please just give me your rapt attention. First, wealth is not created outside in, it is created inside out. One of the early discoveries I personally made uh, was this critical fact. Once you make making money outwardly becomes your priority, you will start to struggle. And one of the things I've also found out is at any time, and I, and I mean no words here, any time you make money without alignment with your soul, <laughs> there will be problems. You will struggle. And let me also say this, there are people who have also made significant amount of money, but because the size of their mind um, is not in alignment with the size of what came, the funds are reduced back to their size. And so this is very, 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 very important. I saw this Jewish proverb, and I, I would love to, to just read it out. And it says, as water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. There is a 
2020 report that showed that 724 um, people on planet Earth today are in the ultra, they are the ultra high net worth individuals. Ultra high net worth individuals are regarded as the individuals around the world who control assets, net assets worth $30 million and above. And then um, in Nigeria, that's the figure, 724, as of 2020 report. And then we have about 20,000 of them who are also 20,000 Nigerians who are about 20,000 20, of them who are um, high net worth individuals. These people control $1 million and above. Now, if you check the gap between the rich and the poor, is actually not what they own. It's actually in what owns them. It's actually in what dominates their mind. I'm very, very big on this because I've realized, and I'm going to demonstrate a few things here. Um, if you, whatever dominates your mind, dominates your life. Whatever controls your mind, controls your life. And so, if we pay serious attention to the quality of thoughts in our minds, um, there's no way we won't have a changed life or changed environment. So, the gap between the rich and the poor is in the quality of that thinking. And I have three frameworks, I'm going to, I mean, two major frameworks, I will try to do uh, justice to this evening uh, to just help, help us. Welcome, thank you for joining, thank you. Um, and so, so let me show, let me just show something. So when you find people who struggle financially and you intend to help, the very first point of call is not giving them money. The challenge is we're trying to solve a poverty problem economically. I've had the privilege of giving people books and they tell me, now book will go chop. <laughs> And they don't realize that actually money is just um, is beyond the physical paper. If you don't carry the intelligence, don't possess the intelligence, you will still lose the money to the person who does. And that's what makes it extremely, extremely um, important. In life, you don't attract what you want. And this is very, very important. You don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. <laughs> this is very important. You don't attract what you want, you attract what, who you are. Um, so, and I'm going to give us framework. I'm going there shortly. You don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. One other thing I've also realized, and this is very, very, very important, is that there is who you must become in order to attain the level of wealth that you love to attain. The reality is, what brought you and I here can't take us further. What brought you, the you of the past, can't possess the future. You need uh, an updated version of yourself. You need a new model of yourself, right, to be able to possess the new dimension of wealth you need to create. And listen to this carefully. Life will go through, life is not a straight graph, and there will be there will be turbulence, there will be chaos, there will be crisis. In fact, we live in times of chaos. We live in times of disruptions. And things are not going to get easier. And the whole agenda is to troubleshoot our thinking <laughs> so that we we'll begin to think at a much higher level in order to be able to surmount the challenges around, around us. And I say, I still said this on radio, on Thursday, I think it was Thursday, yeah, it was Thursday, I said it on radio, I said, you are not poor because you don't have money. You don't have money because you are poor. So what that communicates is that wealth and poverty is a state of mind. Wealth and poverty is what? A state of mind. Please say after me, wealth <laughs> and poverty is a state of mind. And so once that is corrected, many other things changes. Many things changes just um, immediately. Um, and so 
I have this masterclass called Financial Freedom Masterclass that I usually run. And there are three key frameworks that I usually share. Uh, two frameworks. The first one, permit me, is called the Triangle of Life. Just want to, I have just a few minutes left. Triangle of Life. And if this is all you get, I think I've done justice to my own subject. So this, the triangle of life, who you become impacts on what you do. And what you do defines your levels of achievements. So we, don't, we, we, we struggle to achieve because we don't do, and we struggle to do because we have not yet become. And this is very, very, very important. I've seen people who know even better than I do, but don't do those things. So there are many of us who know we need to save, but we don't save. We know we need to invest, but we don't invest. You know the challenge you're having, you are yet to become. As I often say, the dog does not require the hazard to bark. It's its nature. If you find a cartoonist that needs to play the role of a dog in a cartoon um, uh, playlet or whatever, the, the, the cartoonist needs to rehearse the role of a dog properly to play that role effectively, true or false. But because it's the nature of the dog, to back, that is how they even communicate. So it's its nature. So you need to work more on this. And when this is in place, it influences your actions. And once you begin to do the same thing that you're going to be, we're going to be learning today, what happens is, well, to just be, to just be around the corner. Another very powerful framework I often share around this issue of wealth uh, mindset, developing a wealth mindset, is the acronym I call T-E-A-R. And this is very important also. I've had occasions where I sit with people and I ask, what is your financial goal for the year? Or what's your financial goal? Where do you see yourself in the next five years financially now? There are many other compartments of our lives. But where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you see yourself in the next seven years? And I hear people say to me, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a trillionaire. I want to be a multi a global millionaire. Because again, let's not deceive ourselves. If you're a millionaire in Naira, <laughs> that's not relevant yet. So, so whenever I hear people say to me, I want to make, I want to be a billionaire. I want to be a trillionaire. That is the outcome the desire that's the outcome they love to see that is the result they would love to see now and i'm going to break it, this down so r represents results a represents action e represents emotion and p represents thoughts thoughts so what i usually say is when you define your targets, come back here and choose the thoughts that support this. Because you see, one of the biggest challenge I've found is that many of us have self-sabotaging belief systems. Some of us have self-sabotaging you know, uh, thought patterns. Um, every one of us are product of conditioning, or may I say pre-conditioning. You think you're actually the one controlling your life. No, you have been programmed to act the way you do. <laughs> you and I have been programmed to act the way we do. And the only way to change the, our course of action is to alter our thinking. And once that happens, many other things begin to fall in place. And there, I don't want to go into what are those faulty thinking. Too many to, to, to mention right now. Um, there are people who say, I grew up hearing my father say to, <laughs> to us that do I have a money tree behind my... And many of us in Africa, we have that same, um, that same kind of um, um, update. Is that correct? Yeah, so that's the way many of us... Am I cool? Is this cool? Okay, good. So many of us grew up hearing that there's nothing coming from the sky that there has 
cannot bear. Many of us grew up with thought patterns, ideologies that says um, a bird in hand is what mourn the bush. You know, we hear stuff like that. But you see, a bird in the hand is not worth more in the bush because there's so much more in the bush that if you don't even let this one go, you won't possess them. True or false? And that's pretty much the way this thing works. So, and once you tackle, once you change your thoughts, once you change your thoughts, it impacts on your emotions. And this is very important. Whatever dominates your mind eventually this is the process it eventually precipitates into a form of feelings and emotions it precipitates into a form of feelings and emotions that emotion that feeling is a type of fuel i mean it does not matter the, the value of a, a, a rolls royce if it lacks fuel it goes nowhere true or false it remains stationary that's exactly the way emotions are but go and check every time you suffered emotional wreck like fear anxiety worry jealousy envy go and check what you were thinking about that's the often the root and once you change what you focus your mind on once you change what you were thinking about you automatically alter your feelings and guess what whatever the feelings or emotion that you generate is what fuels your action so emotions of fear anger bitterness can lead to murder, right? Robbery, right? Can lead to banditry and stuff like that. You get my point? And the emotion of excitement, enthusiasm, you know, um, the emotion of, of possibilities, there, there, there are thoughts in your mind that will tell you that, sorry, it's possible. The emotion of hope can lead you to take certain actions that will produce the type of result. So this the way I usually say it. If $1 million is your financial target, or you want to be worth $1 million, you want to be HNI, at least according to the current standard, you want to be worth $1 million, then come back here. So it's not enough for you to have this as a target. Come back here and make sure that this is what preoccupies your mind. If you dwell on this long enough, one of the things that begin to happen is that your, your, your subconscious mind uh, will become awake and aware of the possibilities around you. There is a law called the law of recognition. That law states that everything you need or will ever need is already around you, only awaiting your recognition. And so what this does to you is that you start recognizing, identifying the people, places, products, you know, platforms that can facilitate the realization of, of your targets. And if you follow this process, pay attention to your thoughts. The result will just be automatic. If it is billions you want to see, um, Pay attention to your thoughts. Now, am I saying it's very easy? No. No. That's why if you focus on what's going on around you, there is so much turbulence around us. There's so much negativity going on around us. So one of the very things I share with people and I share that people do is step out of the problem or step out of the crisis and view the crisis from the perspective of an outsider. See, there's a difference between what you see and how you see things. What you see is perception. How you see it is perspective. And this is critical. If you must lead, if you must rule over circumstances, uh, especially in the chaotic world that we live in, you need perspective. You need to begin to see the opportunities inherent within every crisis. If we do this, if we do this, I guarantee you, <laughs> wealth is just around the corner but one of the two things that will influence your thoughts in closing two things that will influence these thoughts and this commitment is according to John 
um, John Mason, he said, he said, you are the same five years from now, except for two things. He said, you are the same five years from now, except for two things. Number one, the books you read. Two, the company you keep. The books you read. Now, all of this that I've been sharing requires intentionality. I mean, in order to, for a farmer to find weed on his farmland, he, has no, he does not have to make any input, true or false. He, has, he does not need to make any input. But in order for him to harvest fruits, then he, of a necessity, must plant, must be deliberate about cultivating the land and all of that, true or false. And so that's exactly the same way it is. You want to influence this mindset. It's time, number one, to query your belief system. It's time to query your belief system. Um, like a wise man said, it's time to think about how you are thinking. <laughs> it's time to start to think about how you are thinking. Pay attention to the way you think. And number two is be very intentional about your choice of relationships. Who you follow determines what follows you. Who you follow determines what follows you. I can tell you of a, of a truth that the greatest thing that ever happened to my life was that I deliberately reviewed and audited my circle of relationships. We do not have power to choose where we are born to a very large extent. We don't. If you had opportunity, you would not have been born in Nigeria. Most of us here listening to me. If you had the opportunity to choose your father, you probably would choose Aliku Dangote. But that's already too late anyway. If you had the opportunity to choose who your mother would be, Oprah Winfrey or Polon Shalakija probably would be your choice. But that choice wasn't given to you. You know the choice that was given to you and I? The choice of who your, who your friends would be. Choose it wisely. Now, what I've found is people choose this type of result, $1 million, $10 million, $100 million, but they have friends who don't have the same kind of vision. They surround themselves with people who are telling, you know, the tales of woe. This economy, this economy, things are very, very, if there's no security. If that's what you are soaking in, in my home, we made a deliberate effort, especially during the lockdown, the global world, worldwide lockdown not to put on TV in our house. It was a deliberate... So when people were scared and all of those things, we didn't have that problem because I understand this process. You want to create wealth? Who are your friends? Now listen to this carefully. If you move with five rich guys, now I'm not talking of rich or wealthy in cash. I'm talking in, in the, the size of their vision, right? I can guarantee you'll be the sixth. If you move with five rich guys, five rich guys who are already showing signal that pointing to success, then I can guarantee you that you'll be the sixth. In conclusion, let me say this. The people you begin to follow or that you relate with ultimately impacts on this whole process. When we discuss, there are people I speak with the uh, mentors I relate with, that by the time I'm done, it revives something. It's like you discover yourself in a new light, and then you come with new energy. So sometimes people wonder and say, how come this guy is so energetic and then they have strength? Somebody still told me that today. But this is very important. It is who you are following. You've got to be very, very intentional. This is what will impact on the quality of your thinking. It is the foundation. It is the foundation of the building that determines the height. And so how high you want to really fly financially depends to a very large extent on the depth of your mind. And that's how wealth is created. Um, I believe that I've made little sense since I'm not the one most of you came to listen to. So I'm just a forerunner, like I said. Um, I'm a forerunner. And... The objective is people try to create wealth outside in. So you'll hear all the principles in this world, but you've not done all of them. 
If you have done just 10% of the things you know, I can guarantee you will not even be where you are. I was talking with a friend recently who told me and said that the people who talk hardly do. <laughs> the people who, who do hardly talk. They said that's why he decided that he would be, he would focus more on doing and let my result be doing, do the talking. So right now, achieving and developing the right mindset, the right thinking pattern, the right thought pattern, I can almost assure you that you start to do and achievement is just around the corner. I want to thank you for your listening attention and um, I hand over to the media team. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the Global Wealth Creation Summit 2021 edition. Have you heard the saying that we are defined by the choices we make? It means who you are, whether rich or underserved, is a reflection of the choices you have made. You have made the right choice by being here today and we are pleased to have you. If you're here on site or joining us virtually, we would like you to know that this year's edition is power packed and we can't wait to receive our speakers, Mr. Oladipupo Clement, Dr. Olumide Emmanuel, and Dr. Sam Adeyemi. We promise that this will blow your mind and leave an indelible mark in your lives as we share gems and insightful knowledge that will enable your financial liberation. Are you ready? Then, let us begin. Dr. Dr. Sam Adeyemi has trained thousands of people in leadership for more than two decades. He has done this through the Daystar Leadership Academy, which has graduated over 40,000 people since 2002 and through seminars, workshops and conferences. He currently serves as mentor to hundreds of CEOs in Nigeria and around the world. As a global conference speaker, he has addressed audiences around the world including Global Leadership Summit, a global conference attended by over 400,000 leaders in 130 countries. He holds the Master of Arts degree in Leadership Studies from the University of Exeter, UK and the Doctor of Strategic Leadership from Regent University, Virginia, USA. He is married to Nick Adeyemi, a global speaker and minister, and they are blessed with three children. With a round of applause, let's welcome Dr. Sam Adeyemi to the Global Wealth Creation Summit. Good evening if you are in Nigeria, <laughs> and good afternoon and good morning for some of us. Yes, it's a great pleasure for me to be a part of this event. Um, thank you, Mr. Clement Oladipupo. <laughs> Mr. Oladipupo Clement, thank you so much. Th uh, thank you for that um, introduction. You know, <clears throat> you've said almost everything I was planning to say. So what else should I say now? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. And it's a pleasure, of course, to be speaking alongside my, my friend of several decades, Dr. Lumide Imano, my fellow um, <clears throat> passionate trainer on wealth creation. And I must emphasize, we do this of course, out of love, because we see there's so much poverty. Of course, the data says it, like we heard earlier on. The data shows it. Just only a few people are really financially comfortable, are really wealthy, should we say. Um, so I have a short time to do this. Uh, so I'll ask you to please come along with me and be very open and be very um flexible in your mind i'm going to be repeating quite a number of the things <laughs> that mr clement said and i will repeat them i will repeat them 
because if you get them, that's where the thing really is. You have the foundation, you can build on it. But let me say very clearly that for every single person that is a part of this, there's an opportunity to shift, to shift levels. So I was asking myself, what's the objective really of this event? What should we look forward to? The reset button has been pressed on the world now. Okay, so I'm speaking on creating wealth in a time of chaos. The interesting thing, though, is that the world never remains the same after crisis. The world bounces back. It does. It bounces back. The only thing is there's usually redistribution of wealth in the process. So I know new millionaires are being made right now. New billionaires are being made right now. And I am hoping <laughs> that the, everyone present here today is just going to move to a new level. So if you've not been in the millionaire class before, that's what's just about to happen. It's a few minutes, okay? But it's life-changing. Um, and if you've been millionaire status before, then let's go to billionaire status. I have track record, okay? I've experienced poverty before. Yes, came from, I mean, my dad was a civil servant, became a contractor. And then things went bad with the business. And then our family experienced poverty. I like to express that, okay? <laughs> I like to express that so that someone will know that we know what we're talking about and it's not chance. So I have, I have, I mean, brushed my teeth with our toothpaste before, even put salt at some point on the toothpaste to brush my teeth. Good. So I understand. We ran out of food totally. We will run out of food in the house. Mm -hmm. And my mom would go to the neighborhood to buy food stuff on credit. Okay. Um, I went with my dad to the court that when the landlord took him to court for not being able to pay the rent, I went with my dad to the courtroom. So I've been through these motions. I've been through the shame. I've been through everything. My dad would carry me along when he was going out to town, not because I was useful to whatever he was going to do, but I was use useful for pushing the car, okay? <laughs> because the battery, <laughs> the life of the battery was practically totally gone, okay? Good. So, but then that, that was then, this is now, okay? I dug out the principles. I was passionate to find out, is there a system for creating wealth? And what I found are principles. And principles have no respect for persons. You plant maize, the maize doesn't care whether you are black, white, or brown, or anything in between. It's the principle of sowing and reaping. It works. <laughs> the principle is colorblind, okay? So I found principles. I applied those principles with results, tangible results, okay? <laughs> tangible results, okay, to the point of running organizations with combined turnover in billions. So, and those principles have no respect for persons. I must emphasize that. I began to teach people passionately. I began to teach people several years ago in the church that I passed up. I started entrepreneurial class. I checked that, <laughs> I mean, religious leaders have such great influence on people. So I was trying to see, so how are we addressing this poverty problem? Because it's the number one problem of the people coming to the church. And I saw that all we're teaching was theoretical. And some of it was magic. Okay. So I decided to give people the truth. <laughs> So I was running this class every one hour, every Sunday morning, the entrepreneurial class. Okay, so today, I know <clears throat> I've seen hundreds, if not thousands of people become millionaires. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to be conservative. And I have seen people become billionaires, quite a number of them in the process. So I ask you to please <laughs> just pay attention to what I have to say just a few minutes. And then also please pay attention to every other session at this event. The things I learned, I put in books. That's why I wrote the parable of dollars. Okay. 
And then I wrote, start with what you have. I wrote, ideas rule the world. And I wrote, real money. So some of the few things I'm going to share, some of the foundational principles in those books, especially the parable of dollars. The parable of dollars is what I named a parable that Jesus Christ shared in the Bible called the parable of talents. And for a long time, I was using the word talent um, with the current day usage until the day I discovered the use of the word talent <laughs> there is different from the way we use it now. So in the story and in the day of Jesus Christ, the talent was a currency. It was money. So I found out, you know, when I read books on wealth creation and then read that parable, I was amazed. The most powerful principles that govern wealth creation right now was exactly what Jesus Christ relied on to speak to people during his day. So if you don't understand those principles themselves, you can't even understand the principle. He was applying, okay, the principle, principles that govern wealth creation to our spiritual lives, right? But you've got to understand those principles. So let me summarize some of the few points I got from the story. Number one is the fact that we are only stewards of resources. Nobody owns anything. We're only stewards. <laughs> so it's either you have stewards or you have pretenders. You own nothing. You met everything here and you, you one day you will go. You will leave <laughs> everything here. It helps because in the story, Jesus Christ said that there was this man that distributed his wealth to his servants and then went on a long journey. And the amazing thing I saw there is that wealth flows to you uh, depending on your ability, your capacity for wealth management, because everybody did not get the same thing. Somebody got five, somebody got two, one person got one. They said he gave to each one according to his ability. And at the end of the day, you will see that the boss was right in his assessment of their capacity because the guy he tested with one failed. What if he had given the guy five? So a lot of people that are wishing they had a lot of money, they don't realize the reason why a lot of money is not coming their way is what they are doing with small money right now. Um, and then one other principle I saw there was there's nobody who does not have anything. Everybody got something in the story. So we all have the basic resources we can start with. It's just that most don't recognize. <laughs> like Mr. Clement said, most people don't have perspective. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I saw that you must be productive and get returns on your investment. You have to be committed. <laughs> committed to the fact that resources have to grow in your hand. They gave somebody five, he made another five. They gave one, two, he made another two. Okay. And then... Uh, they gave somebody one. He said he was afraid. <laughs> That's it. He was afraid. Emotions, right? Like we had earlier on the emotions. Um, interestingly, the master said something to that guy that had one. He said, ah, okay, so you observed already that I like to a reap where I did not sow. That was the guy's interpretation okay of the boss's penchant for getting returns on his investment he said you like to reap where you did not so <laughs> bad attitude he then be, he was the unproductive one so the man said the least you could have done was to give my money to the bankers then i would have gotten some interest on it so the least okay returns you will get on your money will be putting it in the savings account it's amazing was true 2000 years ago it's true right now finally in the story the, the boss said take that talent from this guy that did nothing with it i went to hide it and allowed inflation to reduce its value take the talent from him and give it to the guy that has 10. then he said for to him that has more will be given from him that has not even what he has will be taken away so i saw there that money will always flow Remember, we call the denomination, the money you spend in each country, we call it the currency. Mm, currency is from the word current. It describes something that flows. Money flows. It's never stagnant. It flows. 
And it flows from those that do not manage it well to those that manage it well. I'm hoping that by the time we're done today, you will be at the end that money flows towards. So a major point here, a major point. If you don't get anything today, you must get this one. And it's practically repeating what uh, Mr. Ladipupo Clement said. The journey from poverty to wealth is an internal trip. The journey from poverty to wealth is an internal trip. Let me say it again. <laughs> the journey from poverty to wealth is an internal trip. It is not when the millions enter your account that you become a millionaire. It is when you become a millionaire that the millions have no choice but to enter your account. Let me sum it up this way. <clears throat> to, to attract wealth, hmm? you must believe first that you are rich. That's why I said you should please be open today. Let your mind be flexible because that's one of the most confusing statements for poor people. If you believe that it is when you have money that you become rich, they sold you a lie and you bought it. To actually have the money, to actually attract the wealth, believe first that you are rich because you are your existing as a human being already makes you wealthy when you see mr oladipo said mr oladipo clement said when that most people want to succeed from the outside in that it doesn't work like that. It works on the inside out. The major difference between the rich and the poor is in their thinking. It's in their thinking. It's in the way they see the world. It's in the way they interpret the world. That's all. Believe that you are rich. Something happened to me while I was a jobless graduate looking for work. Something happened to me. I came by this truth and changed everything. And began to tell people with confidence, I can never be poor again the rest of my life. And that was a crazy thing to say for a jobless graduate. Believe that you are rich. The greatest fight <laughs> you're going to fight in your life is in your mind. So if somebody says it is difficult to get money, listen, it is not getting the money that is difficult. It is changing your thinking that is difficult. This is the difficult part. This is the difficult part. And you, just to show you, <laughs> just to show you um, how much I enjoyed uh, Mr. Clement's session. I enjoyed because he was spitting the truth. <laughs> he was spitting. He said, the messages you hear are so negative. Honestly, the world is so negative. The average child in Africa is born into a poor family. Am I right? Yes. Statistically proven or supported. You can even see it with your eyes. The average child is born into a poor family. And you know, children absorb emotions and words like sponges. So you visit, the child asks for this, say, we don't have money. Ask for this, we don't have money. The child overhears the heated argument between daddy and mommy over money issues. And daddy is shouting, what do, what do you want me to do? You want me to turn myself into money? You want me to turn myself into money? You think I plunk money on trees? No, 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 no. So the emotions, the, before long, you believe it is difficult to get money. That is the real problem. The problem is not the cash. It's not the paper. That's the real problem. And that's where the fight really is. So this is a daily thing. Don't define yourself by your struggles. Don't define yourself by your experiences. Define yourself by your DNA. There's a reason why you're a human. 
it puts you in a class. There's a reason why you are not an animal. You are not a plant. You are not a lizard. Your being a human is the is what defines the ultimate. Your nature determines your future. If you focus wealth creation on what to do, what to do, I say, but don't you notice the people ahead of you, they had the philosophical depth, called you a human being, not a human doing. The being precedes the doing. The being describes your nature. The being puts a cap on what you can ever do. How much effort can a lizard put into uh, earning one million naira or one million dollars? Effort can do it. From the day it was born a lizard, that defined its capacity. And I'm saying to you that as a human created in God's image, you are wealthy already. Believe it. Because what you believe is what you become. So what should you do <clears throat> to help you fight that fight? Change your thinking. Become rich on the inside. Okay? <laughs> so let me reiterate again. You've got to be reading positive things. Your association, like we had earlier on, it is huge. It is huge. And wealthy people are not far from us. Even if you can't get very close to one, buy their books. Right? Exactly. That's where you start. You can actually negotiate with someone. So when I read the book, I read like I'm discussing with the author. <laughs> I read. I have questions. I go back to the book. It's like I'm asking the person the question. The answer is there. And for those of us that go to church, ah, I've never seen a more democratized place on this planet. In Nigeria, billionaires sit in church. Poor people sit next to them. Or they, they're in the same department with them. They serve in the same department. They never ask them a question. Cheating oneself, period. <laughs> so, study, association, exposure. Be deliberate about what you see and hear every day. Remember, there's so much negativity in this world. So, be deliberate about what you see and what you hear. You know why? Because they enter your heart, stay there, and then put your life on autopilot. So, what did I do? I will write goals on play sheets of people and stick them on the wall. Right goals on plain sheets of paper. I had to change that thinking. And, and it's a continuous thing, a continuous thing. You don't rest. I write goals on plain sheets of paper. I put the picture of a car there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I put the picture of a car. There. I got the car. I put the picture of a house. I got the house. I said, ah, this thing definitely must work for money. I caught check from my checkbook, wrote my name on it and put an amount on it I'd never gotten before. One year later, I checked, I'd gotten the money. I say, eh. I filed it, wrote another one, took the figure up, the money came within one year. It's amazing, okay? <clears throat> so exposure. So traveling for me was also huge. It's an investment. It's an, going on vacation with the family stopped being an expense, became an investment. <laughs> Yes, before I move on, let me tell you a story. So, the first time we will go to Europe on vacation with the family. <laughs> My first time out of Nigeria to Europe was to Greece and Italy. We went to Greece first. Then Italy, at Italy, we arrived at the airport in Milan. We didn't have much money left. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the feedback. Somebody says rich people in church are difficult to reach. Do you, do you believe that? Believing that itself is a problem. But they're in church. <laughs> Listen, what the people that when you know how long it would take to see them in their offices to book an appointment. Do you need an appointment to talk to a rich person in church? Really? Do they have security protecting or guarding them? The least you can do, because they serve in departments in the church, talk to the head of the department to help you get the person's attention, or go and talk to your pastor. You see that the difficulty is in the mind. It's not. Let me say this, because you know I've been on both sides. So I can tell you, you will be amazed at how interested they are in helping people. The only thing is, 
they value their time. They don't want to waste their investment on somebody that is not going to use their advice. And I'll tell you, when they give you advice, most of the time, it stresses your mind. It will stretch your mind. <laughs> so once they see that you're not taking the advice, you may not get to talk to them the next time, right? Good. And then I should tell you, a lot of church people borrow money from rich people. They don't return the money. They'll not be avoiding them after the service. Good. So please, if you've tried, it's not worked, talk to your pastor or your head of department to help you set up an appointment. But please value their time and value their wisdom. Okay? <clears throat> Good. Let's move on. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, we arrived in Milan. We arrived in Milan. So <clears throat> from the airport, which hotel should we go? We booked two. <laughs> the first one, one star hotel. If we went there, we would have change for shopping. The second one was a Sheraton. If we went there, no money for shopping. So we took a taxi to the first one. As we got in, I found out um, only one person, the lady, only one person was on duty. Can you imagine? In the whole hotel. And she quickly told me, we have some people that come in and it's only um, breakfast that we serve. Okay, so fine. To go upstairs, she said, okay, put your bags. Mm -hmm. He said, so you go in. Since all your bags cannot go in with you, so you go with a few bags you can take upstairs. So it, she said, when you get upstairs, just before the door closes, just press the, the ground floor so that it will come. I will put the remaining bags and press your floor and it will come to you. By the time we got into the room, longer and shorter, my, my mood was low. I was feeling low. This was poverty. So I said to Pastor Nike, my dear wife, I said, <clears throat> I did not come to Europe to bomb pictures of poverty into my mind. I came here to <laughs> change my thinking. I'm not staying here. <laughs> she said, okay, let's go to the Sheraton then. So I went downstairs to meet the lady. The, there was this train that went right by the place making noise. So I said, you know, the train is making noise. Our kids are very young, so I would like to go somewhere. She said, no problem, no problem. Should I help you to call a taxi? I said, yeah, thank you for your kindness. She said, go and get your bags ready. We moved to the Sheraton. As we arrived there, there were porters outside with trolley. They came, opened the door for us, helped us to carry the bag. I was saying to myself, that is it. That's what I'm talking about. What I, I did not want to waste, spend my money for nothing, go to Europe for nothing. I wanted to bond that picture, redefine normal for myself. Okay, so once you have that level cleared, have a plan. Have a plan. Vision is the key to provision. So what's the quality of life you ultimately want to live in your life? For different people, it's different levels, but at least define yours. Vision is the key to provision. Next, set specific goals, tangible. When it comes to this money thing, you don't say, Lord, bless me with more money. That's nonsense. That's not, that's a wish. It doesn't work like that. How much? Specific goals. In January 1997, I set goals for myself like that for that year. Yeah? It covered all parts of life, not only finances. Then I now projected five years forward. So all the points I just projected, I set the goals for five years, I did for 10 years, I did for 15, I did for 20, I did for 25, I did for 30, then I jumped to 14, then 50, then 60 years time. Because I discovered a law, the law of time perspective, the longer the time you take into consideration while you're making decisions and taking action, the higher you rise. The person planning for 30 years will always rise higher than the person planning for 30 days or 30 weeks or 30 months. Set goals, then create a plan on paper work it out that uh, 100,000 20,000 1 million that you want to earn how will you earn it money is only a means of exchange what are you going to sell then have a so all that helps you to calculate how the money will come in then have a spending plan <laughs> have a budget so next acquire skills so based on that amount of money that you want to earn that level of life you want to have you need skills. 
See, eh? I don't know what you have heard or learned until now. Anybody that has told you anything contrary to the fact that you need to give out value for money to come to you, the person lied to you. Money is a means of exchange of value in every area of life. So think of the quantum measures of value you are going to give out. Is that you are selling a product or you are offering a service? At what level will you offer it? That's what I'm saying. Whatever the amount of money you say you want, somebody's already earning it. What's the level of their skill? How do you earn money as an employee? Okay, but you've got to become an expert in one particular area. You've got to shoot. This was how I did it. I shot to be part of the top 10% in the areas in which I was working. Then I moved it up to the top 3%. Then I moved it up to the top 1%. I benchmark against specific people. Okay, good. So <clears throat> you can earn money as an employee. You can earn money as an entrepreneur. You run businesses. Each of these requires a set of skills. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you've got to have grit. And then you have got to have the capacity to build systems and to manage and lead people. And then you can earn money as an investor. So whatever the money you are earning, that you can put it either in real estate or in stocks or, yep, invest so that you get returns on your money. That's a different set of skills on its own. So if they're telling you, ah, there's a scheme now, they said if you put 100,000 naira, you will get 50%. Every month, you'll be getting 50% like that. If you put your money there, it shows you a rookie. You don't know nothing, okay? So you need sophistication in investing money. They will take your money away. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me emphasize that for us as Africans, because I know most of the people on this platform right now are Africans. For us as Africans, please understand, management skills, leadership skills are very critical and they are not part of our culture. They're not part of our culture. So you really literally have to go against the culture. I read Robert Kiyosaki's book, Cash Flow Quadrant. And he, he talks there about the power of system that even being an entrepreneur is in two levels. There's a self-employed person, the one-man business, we call it in Nigeria. And uh, there's the business owner, he said. And he said the difference is building systems. So I learned how to draw organizational chart, you know, divide the job, employ people, recruit people to do the job. So that while I'm away, I've been away <laughs> from Nigeria now for 13 months. And some of the things I'm doing are running. The crisis happened, the pandemic happened quite all right. The ones that were not strong enough to work, I shut them down very quickly, early into the lockdown, okay? And the ones that have had the time to grow, to build, can run. When whatever you are doing can run like that, if you're away for six months, then you have successfully built the systems, okay? Everybody should go on for that. So let me wrap up by saying, <clears throat> You have to learn to see money. And you don't see money with your physical eyes. You see money with your mind. Because the real money is not paper or coins. Real money is value. Remember, money is exchange of value. So I help people to see money. <clears throat> I ask them, how many people are in your city? If you say, I mean, like Lagos, Nigeria, you say 20 million. I say, for how much does the average person spend on food in a day? If you say 500 Naira, I say then multiply 500 Naira by 20 million. That's how much you spend on food every day. Those 20 million, each person puts on at least two pieces of cloth in a day. That's 40 million pieces of cloth one every day. 20 million toothbrushes used, the toothbrushes use toothpaste. Okay, which of those things people are buying are you selling? You've not started, you're not selling anything. You have to offer them something, they're spending money every day. Okay, last card. Use your wealth for influence. Use it to shape the environment, improve it. And honestly, if you're in Africa, I'll tell you, you need to invest in politics. It is politics that controls the economy. You need to get involved and shape the environment. 
because however fantastic your the, uh, the seed is the soil will determine how productive it is i'll stop there my time is up thank you um okay i guess i should just go straight right into the q a yes so please shoot me the questions <laughs> let's talk online would appreciate you can drop um your questions and while we're waiting to get gather those questions together let's listen um to this commercial break talking about building enduring wealth there is none better than to use the safest and most reliable vehicle which is real estate here, you have almost nothing to worry about. We have a transparent platform and you can monitor your investment and cash flow by yourself. And the most interesting part is that you can start with Million Homes Flex for as low as 10,000 Naira and up to 20% compound interest. While with Million Homes Swift and Swift Plus, you earn up to 50% returns with a capital of 500,000 and 10 million Naira, respectively, in 18 months. Lastly, we have Million Homes Light. You can enjoy up to 20% returns on investments upfront with a minimum capital of 10 million Naira within 12 to 18 months. No matter what your future concerns are, we have a special product just for you. And it's super easy to subscribe. All you have to do is create an account on invest.millionhomesafrica.com or download the Million Homes app from Play Store or the Apple Store. Choose your preferred investment option and then select your number of slots and make payment. Guess what? It's transparent and you can monitor your investment and cash flow all by yourself through your smartphone. What are you waiting for? Log on now to invest.millionhomesafrica.com and start growing your wealth. Million Homes, live here or make it fund your living. What trans Also, we have the Orange Apartment, a breathtaking masterpiece in the heart of Lagos, suited specially to satisfy your needs and give you peace of mind. This home can be yours with an initial deposit of 7 million naira and flexible payment up to 10 months. Only a few two and three bedroom units are available. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website housing.millionhomesafrica.com. Thank you very much once again. Please, can we celebrate Dr. Sam? Celebrate. For me, please. 
I would like to be seeing him. I don't want to be the one showing. Let me ask questions. Thank you so much. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much, sir. So I have a few questions here. Um, this says, how do businesses and ventures who have folded up or are presently at the brink of Yes, please sign out all of you watching. That feedback. Some of us in on site, 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 Are we good? Are we good? Now? Are we... Okay, so let me see. Let me see, Doctor Sam. Apologies, sir. We had um, a technical issue. All right. So my question again is: How do business? ventures who are folded up or are presently at the brink of death due to the impact of COVID-19 pick up their broken pieces and move on. Right. Thank you very much. Um, the reality, of course, yes, is that we have so many of such businesses. We have to I mean, deal with the situation the way it is, accept the reality. Uh, in this instance, it's not because um, we mismanaged the businesses or it, it was just, in legal terms, they call it an act of God, okay? <laughs> but it was something beyond our um, control. Okay, so let's go back to the basics. I learned that when sports teams are having problems and they're losing matches consistently, the coaches don't teach them sophisticated skills. They take them back to the basics. So you have to go back to your original vision for this business. Okay. The truth is that COVID-19 has changed the environment. So the key word right now is reinvention. You have to reinvent that business by reinventing the vision because the environment has changed. So uh, do your assessment again, do your SWOT analysis again, okay? So what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are the opportunities now? Because that's the truth, Cre crisis create opportunities. And what are the threats again, <laughs> going into the future? Then I'll ask you to do this test also, which I think is what many businesses lack. They used to call it uh, pest. These days we call it steep. It's called scenario planning. Okay, There are external factors acting on your business. As you can see now, something changed in the environment and literally took the life out of the business. So you, you can't 
do your plans anymore, assuming that it is only one possible scenario and that everything is going to work perfectly. It's not going to work like that. So the STEEP, S-T-E-E-P, the S is social. We saw NSAS. That was a social issue. And then <clears throat> things went haywire. Or sometimes it's a strike. There is unrest. You can't go to your shop. You can't open, open the shop. You have to factor for those, those things. You have T for technology. Changes in technology, a new innovation can kill your business. Uh, the first E is for the economy. Changes in the economy. The second one is for the environment. That's where COVID-19 falls. The P stands for politics. One new policy from government can kill a business. So you ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen in each of these areas? And if that worst happens, how are we prepared to stand against the shock? And next, what changes will happen? What will be the new needs? E.g., if war breaks out, okay, how will it affect our business? But then you ask, what are the new opportunities that will show up? Why is Boko Haram not ending? Because people are making money. People are making money. The two armies need uniforms. The two armies need food. They need guns. They need ammunition. Okay, they need the weapons. They need vehicles. Some people, are, they are selling yam, just yam. Some people are making millions out of it right now, right? Some people are making millions out of it. So when you have an entrepreneurial mindset, you think differently. What people run away from is what you run towards. Because that is where the money is. The more serious the problem, the more the money, the more the money. So I just want to encourage uh, the first part is the attitudinal part. Please, no, uh, you're not out yet. You can bounce back. And I just encourage you to so make up your mind to bounce back. The world, the global economies are on the bounce back now. And honestly, I believe you have the opportunity to prosper more now than you ever did before. But please reinvent the business. Uh, sorry, I could not hear the question. It was the echo I was hearing here. So I would like to hear the question again. Thank you. Can you hear Can you hear me now, sir? Good, yes. <laughs> oh, you can't hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Okay, All right, so the question is, please, can we say having forex trading skill is said to qualify among... The question is not really clear, but I believe the person is referring to the skills that you mentioned you need to acquire. Does forex trading skill fall among those categories of skills? Oh, I believe so. It's a it's a skill um, because there is movement between currencies every day. Okay, so the currencies move. In fact, practically every hour, <laughs> you know, every minute. But you you really have to be careful because it's it's an area that has borne a lot of people and put them in serious money, a serious trouble. So 
um, it's a skill. It's a skill. It, you have to process a lot of data, current, accurate data that is based on the internet. You know, so there, there are a few things that make it tricky. And, and I think some people promise uh, returns that are unrealistic just to get people to come in, maybe attend their training or do things like that. The simple truth is there is no area where you get easy money like that. If you get it easy, you will likely lose it easy. So, but I agree it's a skill. It's something that many people do legitimately. is asking I, I know our time is fast spent now but just a few more minutes sir uh, this person is saying i have beautiful ideas but lack funding what can i do samuel can you talk? maybe i should add the second question to it this person is saying how can one balance schooling personal growth and development personal growth Okay. So please remind me the first one again. Okay, so the first question is um, I have beautiful ideas. I have beautiful ideas but lack funding. What can I do? The the big question. Capital. How do I raise capital? Okay, so generally, this is how it works, especially if you are, <clears throat> hey, it depends on where you are in the world. The, the first thing I would say is you have ideas for the business. Raising the money also needs ideas. It's the starting point. Money flows to ideas. So how about you say, I need one million naira. Um, how much do I have in savings? Let me emphasize this part of savings, especially, like I said, it depends on where you are, but if you're in Nigeria, where the interest rate from the bank or the loan that you take is very high, and your savings, you're not going to pay interest on it to anybody. It pays you to squeeze, limit your expenses and try and save as much as possible. Secondly, if you're going to get money from anybody, especially other individuals, and they ask you out of the one million, how much do you have? If you say nothing, honestly, if it's me, I'll not give you anything. Wisdom will tell me uh, the money that I you know, I deprived myself of some enjoyment to save. <clears throat> you did not deprive yourself of anything. What you did to your money is what you will do to my own. So I will not give you my money. So <laughs> savings, very important. It gives you leverage. Next, what can you sell? Your assets. You know, it's like one of my mentors said, a lady approached him and said, I want to start this business. I don't have anything. He said, you have it. He said, I don't have any money. He said, you have it. Said, if I had it, I would not come now. He said, well, I'm looking at it. He said, hey, he said, that's it on your neck. Okay. <laughs> that jewelry that you have on your neck, go and sell it. <laughs> Use the money to do the business. Make profit. Then you'll be able to buy another one. Even, probably even more beautiful. So sometimes we have assets lying there that we do nothing with. Next, who can you raise funds from? Okay, and that just requires integrity from your end. Okay, who can you raise funds from? So if you want to play that game, I would say, uh, I learned it from Robert Schuller, count to 10 and win. I want to raise 1 million. Who do I know that can loan me 1 million naira? One time, finish, knockout. Okay, who do I know that can loan me, if I could just get two people to give me half a million naira each, okay? If I could get four people to give me 250,000 each, 10 people to give me 100,000 each. So try, try and walk through that list. You may get someone to give you. I know someone in business that said he was actually listening to me, you know, speaking when he got that inspired idea, you know. 
he was looking for 20 million to deposit for this piece of land that cost 150 million. So he was listening to me and it, the idea just popped in his head. He just wrote down the names of four people, stepped outside the hall, picked his phone, called the first, first one. I need 5 million from you. The guy said, fine. The second one, the third one, the fourth one, the 20 million was complete. Okay. So before you then go to loaning from institutions like uh, the bank and so on, if you live in the Western part of the world, that's a whole lot easier. The interest rate is low. Uh, in Nigeria, you need sophisticated management skills to go take loans like that or else, because you have, when you take a loan, you have to have a plan B. If something goes wrong, I need to be able to find a way to block. If you don't, it can ruin you. So you need to be careful. But it all starts with your thinking and your remember, believing that you have the money already. You're just looking for how <laughs> to get to it or get it to come to you. So many so questions many. we have here right now. Can you imagine? We can take all of them, but let me just take this last one, sir. Right, right. Um, this right. person right. says, right. what is the key right. to staying innovating and taking and quality and decisions and in time of chaos, creating enduring wealth? Should I repeat the question again, sir? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. What is the key to staying innovative? and taking quality decisions in times of chaos, especially mm. as to creating enduring wealth? Ah, thank you. Very good question. How do you stay innovative? The starting point is attitude. You're believing that a problem is not a problem. A problem is actually an opportunity. There are two sides of the same coin. You're believing that the problem is not the problem. The problem is how you see the problem. Okay. So if you're that person that is optimistic, that is always looking for the opportunity, the positive side of something, it will be very easy for you to be innovative, to find ways to get things to change. Number two, introduce ideas into your mind. Always introduce new ideas into your mind. So you've got to always be thinking. You've got to always be reading, attending conferences like this, you know, uh, and um, working with a team, brainstorming with a team. It's so critical, very difficult for only one person to get all the ideas in this world. And when you brainstorm, you obey the rules for brainstorming. I brainstorm with my team all the time. And the rule is you don't criticize anybody's idea. Don't knock down anybody's idea. Because I say, sometimes you need that stupid idea from someone to knock out the fantastic idea in your head. <laughs> you know, So just build on what somebody else has said. But brainstorming with the team is critical. And then mentoring is so powerful. Mentoring. What does the mentor usually have? A repertoire of experiences. The person has seen more than you have seen. So the likelihood is the person has solved more problems than you have solved. Okay. In fact, the person has gone through the very thing you are going through now, and the person can say something. Don't stay alone, in, especially in the time of chaos. In this particular scenario of this pandemic now, where almost everybody on this planet has never seen, experienced a pandemic before, it's been so crucial for leaders to talk. To, to crossbreed ideas uh, and to test those ideas and to move forward. I hope those help. <laughs> appreciate this moment. It's been worth the while. Please, all of us in the in the room, can we stand up <laughs> and celebrate Dr. Sam at DME for me? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. We deeply appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, All right. So uh, the next um, session is going to be powerful, and you don't want to miss it. So please stay tuned uh, as we go on the commercial break. Talking about building enduring wealth, there is none better than to use the safest and most reliable vehicle, which is real estate. Here, 
you have almost nothing to worry about. We have a transparent platform and you can monitor your investment and cash flow by yourself. And the most interesting part is that you can start with Million Homes Flex for as low as 10,000 Naira and up to 20% compound interest. While with Million Homes Swift and Swift Plus, you earn up to 50% returns with a capital of 500,000 and 10 million Naira respectively in 18 months. Lastly, we have Million Homes Light. You can enjoy up to 20% returns on investment upfront with a minimum capital of 10 million Naira within 12 to 18 months. No matter what your future concerns are, we have a special product just for you. And it's super easy to subscribe. All you have to do is create an account on invest.millionhomesafrica.com or download the Million Homes app from Play Store or the Apple Store. Choose your preferred investment option and then select your number of slots and make payment. Guess what? It's transparent and you can monitor your investment and cash flow all by yourself through your smartphone. What are you waiting for? Log on now to invest.millionhomesafrica.com and start growing your wealth. Million Homes, live here or make it fund your living. Dr. Olumide Oladapo Emmanuel, popularly known as a common sense guru, is no doubt one of the world's leading relationship experts, motivational speakers and wealth creation agents. He is a best-selling author of over 30 books, both from self-published platform and world-renowned publishing houses. His books are well celebrated worldwide, with eight of them already translated in other languages. With an executive master's degree in business administration from the University of Huddersfield in the UK and a real estate executive certificate with a special focus on capital markets, project finance, and business strategy from prestigious Harvard Business School in the United States. Dr. Olumde Emmanuel is loaded with all-round success. He is married with children. With a round of applause, let's welcome Dr. Olumide Emmanuel to the Global Wealth Creation Summit. Wow, wow. Wow, are we good? Okay. Wow, once again, let's celebrate Dr. Sam Adoyemi. That was, that was an amazing, amazing session. Thank you. Uh, that was an amazing session. Uh, Timothy, great job, good foundation. And Reverend Sam just did an amazing job. You know, my brother, my friend, of uh, when he said for decades, I'm like, oh, that's true. So I started thinking, that's like 29 years ago. Wow. And, you know, when we started out, most of these things, you know, behind every glory, there's a story. And um, many times people see us today and they think probably we came from one rich family or we just dropped down from heaven and just saw money somewhere. You know, because, uh, because we are pastors also, a lot of people feel oh, they are men of God. Maybe there's one anointing that just came and their money just flowed. But well, it doesn't work like that. There are principles that makes for wealth. So I'm so glad to be here today. And I want to thank every one of you that have subscribed to uh different uh platforms and subscribe to the different opportunities that were made available uh the word poor p-o-o-r talks about passing over opportunities repeatedly p-o-o-r now we're here to learn but as we are learning we're also making opportunities available to you and you need to sit down and make the right decision right now because one thousand good intention is not as powerful as one action so I want you to begin by subscribing to all our different um, channel and as you are, um, okay, yeah. So subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be able to join our network. And you've heard of million homes, you've heard of the investment aspect, you've heard of the housing aspect. Take advantage of all these opportunities because the only way you can create your own success story is by taking advantage of the opportunity that is before you right now. And over a period of time, you begin to tell people about your journey. So today, I want to talk to you about the pathway to wealth, the pathway to wealth. And I want to um, begin by letting you understand that we all need to be empowered 
in our lives. We all need to be empowered. Uh, however, there are uh, about three major areas of empowerment that every one of us need to have in place. Number one, you need to be spiritually empowered. It's very, very important. Because you see, in the marketplace, in order for you to win in the marketplace, you are either in the secret cult or you are in the secret place. Most people don't know that. You are either in the secret cult or you are in the secret place. Amazingly, a lot of people are not in the secret cult. So in the secret cult, they are absent. But when you go into the secret place, they are also absent. That's not our focus today, but you need to know that. Number two, you need to be relationally empowered. And I think both Timothy and Dr. Sam spoke about that. Relationships matter if you are going to become all that you need to become. You need to have the right kind of people around you. You don't need everybody, but you need the right people in your life. Very, very important. But number three is you need to be economically empowered. You are not free until you are financially free. And that's the reason why this Global Wealth Creation Summit has been put together to equip you and to empower you for wealth creation. So over a period of time, you will also be able to say, once I was poor and now I am rich. Now, let me move on to the next thing I want to talk to you about. The next thing we need to note is that there are some basic facts that you need to understand when it comes to wealth creation. Fact number one. There is a wealthy place. There is a wealthy place. Now, there is a place you get to on earth where money will no more be a problem. But listen and listen well. The wealthy place is not a geographical location. It's a state of mind. It is first within, then without. You've heard it when Timothy spoke about it. You've heard it when Dr. Sam spoke about it. So there is a wealthy place. There is a place you get to where money is not your problem. It is what to do with the money you begin to think about. But that place is not a geographical location. That place is a state of mind as a stage of mind. So it's first within then with us. So when you hear all the things that have been said, because see, to be a millionaire, think like a millionaire. You're a China, you're a Kandai. Good thinking, good products. So there is a wealthy place. And that wealthy place is not a geographical location. You heard it said, it is first within. You must believe you are. So getting one million dollars, getting one million dollars is not the problem. Believing you can get it is the problem. So there is a wealthy place. That's fact number one that I wanted to know. There is a wealthy place. And that wealthy place is a place you get to where money is no more your problem. So that place is not geography. Is a state of mind. It's internal. And like Dr. Sam said, you have to take the journey to wealth. It's an internal journey. So once you take the journey, you arrive at the world of place, then you begin to attract like a money magnet. You begin to attract all the resources from the world because you have become it. And when you become it, you attract it. Number two, second fact. There is a path that leads to the world of place. So there is a world of place and there is a path that leads to the world of place. Now, that path that leads to the wealthy place is also not a geographical path. So it's not an address that you can enter very quickly to get to. It's not an address you can now say, I'm going to buy a ticket to the wealthy place. No, there is a path that leads to the wealthy place, and that path that leads to the wealthy place are principles and steps that takes you from your present financial position to your desired financial destination. Once you identify the principles and you identify the steps that you need to take and you begin to take them, it is only a matter of time. As long as you are not greedy, covetous, and you are into all these get rich quick, get it boundaries. No, 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 no. Once you understand that there is a wealthy place, it begins from the inside, you begin to change yourself because you have to be before you can do, before you can have. Then you now realize that there are principles that need to be applied and you commit intentionally and deliberately and consistently to begin to apply those principles. It is only a matter of time. It's not magic. It's not okay. science. you will just find that one day your story has changed. Fact number three. Applying the principles for wealth consistently will bring you to the wealth of the plane. It's only a matter of time. 
applying the principles of wealth creation consistently because the day you stop learning you start dying so it's a forever journey you don't graduate from this school of wealth creation because wealth creation is one level wealth retention is another they will begin to talk of generational wealth that's another level so when you talk about wealth creation it's a journey forever because by the time you finally become rich and well question what happens after you go so you need another level of wisdom for legacy you need another level of understanding for sustainers for generational wealth and perpetuity so the first thing is what there is a world place fact one it's not a geographical location level two is what there is a path that leads to the world place and number three discovering that part which are the principles and the straps you need to use and then being committed to consistently apply them guarantees that you get to the world place so what i want to now do is show you that part pathway to wealth i want to now show you that path i can guarantee you that by the time i'm true you will know the path whether you choose to take the journey or not is your fault and it's your choice hello listen and listen well like he said years ago my own journey of wealth creation started in 1997 when i became frustrated because i started out very early but this money thing was just not working and i became frustrated because see i realized that if you you know if you are a poor man and you are not married it is bad but it is still manageable but don't ever try to be poor as a married man because when a woman tells you i love you the way you are i love you the way you are does not mean i love you to remain the way you are she's hoping that somewhere along the line your story will change <laughs> whether you like it or not every woman that comes into your life has a mental map and a mental country as she's looking at you you are tossing as you okay oh boy it's, you know, this guy the way it's going if i suffer with him for three to five years it should change based on the potential that i see some people have two years in their mind their timetable is two years some is five years some is seven years some is ten years once that clock begin to tick God, come to think of it i've been with this guy for five years three children nothing's changed you know he's still telling me the same story all of a sudden what you thought was love you begin to realize that love is not enough you suddenly begin to realize. So I got to that frustrating position in 1997 when I made the mistake of marrying as a poor man and hearing, oh, I love you the way you are. I just love you. You know, no problem. Ah, and I fell for that trap. <laughs> and I entered. And then responsibility started. And in 1998, when we were pregnant for the first child, uh, my daughter was born in 1998. As the pregnancy was rising, my frustration was rising. My depression was rising. And I sat down and I asked myself, is this the way my life will go? And that was when in my frustration, I cried out. I want to know how to come out of poverty. I am tired. And I suddenly realized that there are rich and wealthy people all over the world and I've never studied about them. I've never investigated their life. So the first thing I did was to go on an encounter and I read close to 800 biographies of rich and wealthy people on all the continents of the earth. And I suddenly realized that every rich and wealthy person on earth, there is a trajectory in everyone's life. The same thing. You discover number one, none of them was working for anybody. None of them were salary earners. So I automatically told myself, Kulumide, but be salary forever. Salary is cost to slavery. So I knew. Number two, all of them had real estate. Real estate was one of the things they used to retain their wealth because wealth is asset and cash flow wealth is not riches wealth is asset and cash flow so when you have asset you are wealthy when you have cash flow something that is a cash cow that's wealth so wealth is asset and cash flow it's not you can be rich today poor tomorrow but when you are wealthy you are wealthy you are big you are big hello so that eight month encounter was what took me on that journey and when I went through that journey, by the end of 98, early 99, it was settled that poverty was gone, even though my account has not changed. So you need to understand, once you become it, my voice changed, the way I spoke changed, and be careful, people say it's very arrogant, and it doesn't have money, forget arrogance. You can even be on an Okada or a tricycle or in a downfall, but you just know that I'm above this, I'm more than this, my level. 
My presence is not my final sign. Once you become it on the inside, everything changes. Hello? So what is this pathway? Three things that consist of the pathway. Number one, financial intelligence. Number two, financial planning. Number three, financial discipline. I knocked that off five minutes each and we're good to go. Now, so when we're talking about the pathway to wealth, it begins with you becoming what you want to manifest. And then you commit to financial intelligence. Financial intelligence is the doorway into the pathway. Financial intelligence is the doorway into the pathway. You must have financial intelligence. The more you learn, the more you earn. Your learning capacity is what determines your earning capacity. The reason why a lot of people are where they are is because they are working to earn. They are not working to learn. You don't work to earn. You work to learn. And the more you learn, the more you earn. So number one is what? Financial intelligence. And guess what? Schools don't teach financial intelligence. That's why many people don't have it. The dean of the faculty of accounts of the university is a poor man. The vice chancellor is struggling and going on strike. Hello? Why? Because academic education does not equal to wealth creation. In the school of wealth creation, academic education is inconsequential. You know why? You can have master's degree in business administration, yet you can't run a baby salute successfully. They give you a restaurant, it goes bankrupt. Supermarket, who follow where? Why? Even though you have the certificate, because schools teach theory, they don't teach the practical. So academic education was not put in place. And please note, I am not saying don't have academic education. I have two masters. I have a PhD in entrepreneurial leadership. I'm on my second PhD right now. I'm writing my dissertation for my second PhD. I'll be graduating some in another few months. So I'm not saying don't go to school. Dr. Sawadi Emi has PhD, so we are not saying don't, I'm not saying don't go to school. I'm a PhD holder, not by uh, award. I went to school for it. Hello. So we are not talking. No, so, but when it comes to money, it's not by academic education. There are five types of education. We have spiritual education, which is understanding who you are, understanding the spiritual laws that govern the world. Number two, there's past education, which is understanding yourself, what you have, what you don't have, what you can attract, SWOT analysis and other stuff. Number three, there's academic education, which is going to school and getting a degree. Number four, there is what? There is financial education. I, I, I hold for, I keep one. If I give you everything, you didn't pay. So it's free. So go and get the material to get the remaining. So now, but you see, in the, in the realm of education, if you have all the other education and you don't have financial education, you will not be able to create wealth because financial education is what gives you the ability to create wealth. The same way you go to academic education and you become a pilot, you can't become a pilot by prayer and fasting. Do you understand? So for you to be a pilot, you go through academic education that makes you a pilot. Then you can function. In the same way, you become a doctor, you become a lawyer through academic education. And you can't become anything else through that. So in that same way, when it comes to money, you have to go through the school of money. Do you understand now? And go through financial education. So financial education, financial intelligence, financial literacy is key. So everyone now, listen and listen well. When last did you read a book on money? For many of you, the last time you read any book on money was the one you read when you were in school trying to do exam. That you were cramming, I don't wait up. Hello? But listen and listen well. If you are ever going to become successful in any aspect of life, you must read the number of books commensurate to your age in that area. So if you want to succeed in finance, and you are 50 years old, you must read 50 books on finance. If you want to be successful financially, and you are 28 years old, you must read 28 books on finance. Why? So that it will recondition you, and reprogram you, and reposition you, and re-engineer you to become it. Because knowledge, information, information, what comes in to form you to become a nation. So information is what comes inside you, and then it forms you, and then you begin to manifest and become so it's information. Because if you are not informed, you will be deformed. If you are not inspired, you will expire. If you are not updated, you will be outdated. What you know is what determines how far you go. Information is the key to transformation. So you need to understand ignorance is not a demon, you can't cast it out. If you don't know, you don't know. So when it comes to this money thing, it's not prayer, it's not fasting, it's not it's not prophetic. Hello, it is you know, you know, you don't know, you don't know. Hello, 
When you know, you know. When you don't know, you don't know. Uh, is there anybody here that does not understand Yoruba? In this audition, you don't understand Yoruba, sir. Daddy, please come, sir. Come into the camera. Let's see. Fatika, Daddy, come. Let's put our hands together for Daddy. Now, keep clapping. Let's all know Daddy. <laughs> you're welcome sir <laughs> okay so come close so that you can be so now daddy you don't understand your but i'm about to say something now daddy and for what's in work with me but what to one day before you came out color daddy is not responding and now i have for me daddy talking talking me come on me now, it's not moving. It's not doing anything. If you don't know, you don't know. It's not. Now, daddy, you know what I said? I said, put your hands in my pockets. Uh. <laughs> I <lose> my leg. <laughs> I said, put your hands in my pocket, and whatever money you find there, take it, I give you. <laughs> then I say, my token is in my pocket. Did you? Yeah, bring out the token also, and tell me any amount you want, I will transfer it now. Boy, you <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. If you don't know, you don't know. So why you don't have financial intelligence? Money will be coming you, you will not see. Money will be in front of you, you will not see. Money will be calling you, you will not see. Crisis creates opportunity. Money hides in problems. Crisis creates opportunity. Money hides in problems. But it is only those that have it that see it. So you must become it. Number two, let me move on. Financial planning. So second thing on this pathway is what financial person. Once you have financial intelligence, which is whatever, you don't graduate from the school of money, you keep learning because the day you stop learning, you start. That. Number two is financial planning. What's financial planning? That is the heart of the matter. The matter of the heart is the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. So when it comes to financial planning, financial planning is where we separate the men from the boys. What is financial planning? It is you sitting down to have a plan. Now, there are a few things you need to note, which I'll run through because of the brevity of time. Number one, you need to understand the seasons of life so that you not compare yourself with somebody else. You have morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Morning, the first 25 years of your life. Afternoon, the second 25 years of your life. Evening, the third 25 years of your life. Night, four 25 years of your life. So you are 0 to 25, you are in the morning. 26 to 50, you are in the afternoon. 51 to 75, you are in the evening. 76 to 100 and above, you are in the night of your life. What do you do in the morning? The morning is for learning. What do you do in the afternoon? The afternoon is for earning. What do you do in the evening? The evening is for what? Returning and mentoring. You turn around and begin to mentor the next generation. What do you do in the night is for resting. When you mess up your morning, you mess up your afternoon. You mess up your evening, and guess what? You now use your own evening to begin to mess up the morning of your children and the next generation. And that's how we perpetuate this thing. So number one is what? You need to understand the seasons of life so that you know where you are and do what needs to be done to ensure that you don't mess up your journey. Then there are three things you also need to note when it comes to financial planning. Number one, ascertain where you are. Where are you now? Your present position. Number two, determine your destination. Determine your destination. Number three, choose your vehicle. So number one, ascertain your location. Where am I now? What is your present financial position? Number two, determine your destination. Where do I want to go to? What do I want to achieve? Number three, choose your vehicle. I run through that one minute, 30 seconds each. So ascertain your location. If you understand the seasons of life, we are not all on the same level. We may all hear the same teachers, be in the same seminar, but not on the same level. Some people are in below ground zero. They are in depth now. That no matter what you are saying, it's hard to come out of depth that is in their head. Store the information for when you need it. Some people are on ground zero. Nothing, nothing. They are not owing, neither do they have anything they owe. Own. That's the, there are people that are not owing anybody, but they are struggling from hand to mouth. 
There are people that are sitting down hearing us all over the world right now. They have some money. What they are thinking of is, okay, what do I do with this money? How do I invest it? So we are all at different levels. So number one is ascertain your location. If you want to buy a ticket now and you call any airline, hey, please, I'd like to get a ticket to UK, yeah, to London. The first question they will ask you is, from where? There is no airline that can give you the cost of your destination without knowing your present location. That is the same way life is. Life can never tell you what price you will pay, except you identify where you are. So your price is not my price. Hello? Because we may be age mates, but we are not great mates. We went to the same school. It on the end. My classmate is a deception. Nobody is your classmate. You may be classmate and age mate, but in your mindset, you are not age mate because you have a big answer and a small mindset. And it's not by answer, it's by mindset. You drive a big car, but nothing is driving you. Because it's not by what you drive, it's by what drives you. It's not the house you live in, it's by what lives in you. Hello? So, number one is what? Ascertain your location so that you know where you are. Number two is to determine your destination. Dr. Sam also spoke about if your destination is one million, what he did in 97, I also did in 97. We've been discussing this thing for years. So, I 97, 30 year plan. I stopped at 30 years. Hello? 10 years, 20 years, 30 year plan. And I told myself, by 30, this must have happened. By 40, this must have happened. You'll be amazed. It happened before the time. So you now see that, determine your destiny. I told myself, by the age 40, I must be a millionaire in every reigning currency on earth. By age 40. Hello? And I began to pursue it. I said, by age 50, I should be able to write a check of $1 million and give it out. All these things we plan when we're in our early 20s. And today, we look back at those things, it has been done. Hello? So listen and listen well. You now determine your destination. The key now is to choose a vehicle. The vehicle is a means of transportation from point A to point B. So point A, your present financial position. Point B, your desired financial destination. So how do I move from my present financial position to my desired financial destination? You need what we call investment vehicles. Now, the vehicle you use determines how far you go. Why are many people not in the world of place? They are trekking. They are trekking. If you are a salary earner, you are trekking to the wealthy place. And it may take you 35 to 40 years to see your first 1 million when they pay you your gratuity. It may take you 35 to 40 years to see your first 1 million if you decide to trek. We are presently now at the Sheraton Hotel in Lagos, Nigeria. In this same Nigeria, there is called Abuja, the capital. To go from Abuja, Lagos to Abuja by air, one hour. To go by road, Depending on uh, whether Kwara meet you or Fulani meet you, or the road is bad or whatever, or police checkpoints on the road, only God knows the answer. If you decide to trek, may you get there. Hello? Now listen and listen well. If somebody decides to fly to Abuja, and somebody else decides to drive to Abuja, and somebody else decides to trek to Abuja, who will get there first? The person that flies will get there first. Not because there is human in their village, not because there is no altar in their father's house, not because there is no enemy in their life, not because they pray more, not because they are only is a function or very cool. So if you decide to sit down with salary, you are trekking. So there are vehicles that will help to speed up your journey. I give you four. Number one, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. And we, I don't have enough time to work that. Remember, some also spoke to that. Number two is investment. Investment, investment, investment. You need to be an investor. So that's why we are telling you now, million homes, come and invest now at whatever level you have any option you can plug in. Number three is intellectual properties. That is bringing forth your own brain child so that royalties begins to flow. And number four is real estate. Now, real estate to me is the only vehicle of wealth creator that is also a vehicle of wealth retention. Because that is what helps you to retain your wealth and retain your assets and truly be saying, I'm a wealthy man. So, you have heard of millions owned, you have heard of the investment, you have heard of the housing. Plug in now. This is real. This is what we have done that brought us here. So, once you identify the vehicle and you choose the right vehicle, wow, you are there. And finally, financial discipline. Financial intelligence financial planning and then financial discipline financial discipline delay gratification what will people say is their mouth let them say how people feel is their life let them feel 
Don't use other people's scripts to plan your life. Discipline yourself. Say, I must eat three square meals. Is three a square or a triangle? <laughs> if you cannot afford three meals, take one. One square. Square the one. Let it be one squared. Hello? Why? Because if you fail to plan, you have already planned to fail. Proper planning prevents poor performance. And if you don't discipline yourself and delay gratification, you'll be in trouble. Because guess what? As I close, if you eat tomorrow's food today, you'll be hungry tomorrow. If you wear tomorrow's clothes today, you'll be naked tomorrow. If you live tomorrow's life today, you have no life to live tomorrow. I hope with this few points of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that there's a pathway to wealth and you can make it. Thank you. Wow. Thank, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> so much, so much to digest in so short a time. I was trying to catch up in my notes, but the part just said no. Everything is available on the on, on our YouTube channel. Just go to Life Page. Is it Life Page Global? Yes. Life Page Global on YouTube, um, and subscribe to that channel. That's all you need to do. We have loads and loads of previous events that you can also access there, and of course, this particular one you find it there. All right, please take your seat. Those of you listening to me right now, we this, we're entering the Q and A session. Thank you so much, sir. Never disappointed. Never, never. By the way, let me say this. <laughs> we've been we've been hosting events um as far Okay, let's go on a quick commercial break and we'll be back with the QA so that more questions are coming. More 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 when I hear Life Page Group, what comes to my mind is an opportunity to convert my network to net worth. Life Page Group has given me access to multiple streams of income and financial independence programs. Do you want to be part of a workforce where talented individuals can succeed based on their levels of skills, regardless of background, social status, or location? Do you want access to multiple streams of income? You can make millions by partnering with us. As a LifePage Group partner, your effort is rewarded with mouth-watering bonuses and rewards like a weekend getaway, all expense paid trip overseas, cars, and houses. We are driven by our commitment to making lives richer. Partner with us to achieve our goal while you live the life of your dream. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website. Life Page Group, making lives richer. What transforms what transforms?
also, we have the Orange Apartment, a breathtaking masterpiece in the heart of Lagos, suited specially to satisfy your needs and give you peace of mind. This home can be yours with an initial deposit of 7 million naira and flexible payment up to 10 months. Only a few two and three bedroom units are available. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website, housing.millionhomesafrica.com. Okay, I think we're back now. We apologize for the break in transmission. There was a network issue. All right, so um, I was trying to announce that our business, LifePage Group, stands on two legs. Those buy from us and those who sell with us, essentially those who refer business to us. When customers are satisfied, they refer other people as well. And that's pretty much one of the ways we roll. So if you intend 
to do business with us either by buying from us investing with us or you have people within your circle of influence you would love to introduce to our business there's also opportunity to be a lot of opportunity money making opportunities inherent in this um, so you can log on to tribe.lifepaidgroup.com tribe.lifepaidgroup.com to sign up tribe.lifepaidgroup.com um, for those of you who will be signing up right now wherever you are anywhere in the world we'll be having a boot, a boot camp session on sunday march 28th which is tomorrow so um it's going to be online and we'll communicate all those details all you need to do is just register now everything has been digitalized also to join um i mentioned earlier that I run a financial freedom master class is something i'm extremely passionate about and let me also confess dr lumide emmanuel dr sam Ademi, those were the people who stirred up my ignited that passion and this financial freedom master class is something that runs from 9 a.m so around 5 p.m or 6 p.m in, in a full day so there's so much to be captured and to be covered uh, i've had amazing testimony from um, the time we started so you want to be a part of that class all you need to do is log on the details will be on the screen um, and you just send a text message interested for those of you listening to me online or those of you right here just in case you are not able to copy the link just send interested to 0708 0708 i beg your pardon 0708 797 0708-797-0441 just say i'm interested to that number and then they'll send you the registration link for the financial freedom master class the full day but this is 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 um will communicate the, 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 the details to you um and then you you not you'll never regret it I, I guarantee you on that one um so the testimonials has always been that we get more than we paid for all right um we also have um and for those of you who want to partner or want to do want to invest like some of the things you've seen you can call the number zero nine zero six thousand five seven three seven these are the hotlines for life paid group anything you want to do with life we just call these following numbers you can send a text message you can whatsapp that these numbers you can so sometimes people say they want to talk to me there's a system <laughs> to manage everything so just call the number zero nine zero six thousand five seven three seven zero nine zero six thousand five seven four seven so the same number just ending with three seven the other one ends with four seven do you get it all right so those numbers are scrolling on the screen right right now so just pay attention to them also we encourage everyone joining us for this event to follow us on facebook twitter and instagram all those details are scrolling on the screen also but follow us at life page global on 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 Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and also follow us at million ohms underscore at million ohms underscore. All of these things are available. Let me not confuse you. Just follow the the details there. But don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Life Pay Global. All right, to subscribe for any of our products, to subscribe for any of our products. There's a link that will be shared, will be sent as a text message to all of you who registered, you want to subscribe to, for any of our products, just, um, I would have said send interested, but we'll send you the link so that that will be the basis for reaching out to you. Whether you, whether you are low or you are high or middle, we have products that covers every range. Whether it's a housing product or investment product, we have something that meets your need. All right, so let's get into. I hope I've done justice to that. My administrators, are we good? Okay, so let's take questions now, sir. Please welcome Dr. Olumide Imano. <laughs> now, because of the breaking transmit, I would encourage that everyone who is joining us online, please try and get everybody else to come back again. Because let me say this. You never derive as much from Dr. Lumide Emanuel 
in this training session like you would derive in question and answer session <laughs> from experience because you also get customized answers <laughs> you get customized solutions so please um you know sit up sit upright adjust your fasten your seat belt now what advice i'm expecting questions to be sent to me so but okay so daddy you have questions okay so we will need a mic but i'll come to him let, let me come to him so what's your advice for someone who is psychologically comfortable with death somebody who feels that okay whether it is my money or somebody else's money as long as there's money let me just survive what what is your word to such a person uh, well um like we have said over and over again it's an internal job so that means that that person is in internal re-engineering and that comes by association and mentoring in life you are either motivated by joy peace progress success or you are motivated by pain struggles and problems so somebody like that now if someone is going in one direction it might be a major problem that will wake the person up and it might be a major good news that will wake the person up. so for that person he or she needs internal range it's a mindset transformation that the person needs but that comes by the information they receive there is information you can receive that will jolt you out of that position and then number two it comes by association when it begins to associate with people that don't subscribe to that kind of mindset over a period of time you will begin to see differently number three is mentorship so it's information association and mentorship because no matter how bad you have gone on the wrong road the day you wake up that's when your money starts mm. thank you thank you sir so let's take a question from daddy just let's make it brief no 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 hold it can somebody come and take this mic and hold it please coordinate this yeah. Good evening, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all you have uh, put into us. Thank you, uh, Lemon. Thank you, sir. For inviting us here. Thank you, sir. I would like uh, doctor, to expose this, what people call joke. For me, it's a serious business. When the pastor needs money in the church, he calls the members. Some will say, God said, 10 people here will bring one, one million. And sometimes more than 10 people will come up to be one, one million. It's the oversupply. Over <laughs> sometimes he said, two million. And five people will come out. More than five people will come out, but he said, five people. It, it, it's already oversupply. <laughs> when the, when the members of the church need money. They go to Pastor Pastor said, go to God. So why does Pastor not go to God? Why does he go to the members and not ask members to go to, to go to God? Does that is it in line with the principles of well creation? Okay. That, that's question one. Okay. Question two. A man wrote a book, How to Be a Millionaire. Mm. And he says, I cannot reach it because I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> so one asks, why have you not published this fine book? He said, I have no money. But the man has an idea how to make millions. But he cannot publish his book because he has no money. Can you, can you let us know okay. what is in this money? Okay. Thank you, Daddy. And, All right. Now, so, sorry, before you, you okay. ask, answer the question, <laughs> we may not be able to take verbalized questions because we're trying to manage our time so please forgive us that i did that i just realized now that it was not part of what we agreed we're going to do thank you okay so let me help you now please listen attentively from your perspective the pastor needed money he came to the people error the pastor did not need money the church had a project the church had a vision that required provision not the pastor he wasn't asking for them to pay his house rent he wasn't asking for them to feed him that same money and project he himself is a giver in it so number one the pastor did not come to ask them for money he came to ask them to partake of an opportunity to be a part of the project you saw him coming to the people to ask for the money 
But what you need to realize, like we have said before, it is first internal before it's external. You see, the iceberg principle states that for every nine that you, for every one that you see, there is nine that you don't see. The iceberg is a mountain under the water. You see the tip, but you don't realize that what is under is more than that. So for that pastor to come out and say, we have a project, I need five people to give one, one million. And people started standing up. It did not happen that day. The pastor has done something behind the scene. Number one, he received an inspiration from the creator of the people. Number two, he received a vision from the creator of the people. Number three, he received an instruction on how to get the provision from the creator of the people. So what you saw physically is a response to an instruction that you don't see that was given by the creator of everybody. There are people that you will talk to that you need money. They will never give you money. People don't give you money because they have. They give you money because they have to. They have to because that is... So when you are now coming and say, well, we have a project right now, we are building, the, we are expanding the children's church, we have 500 children and the children's church can only take 350 people. Right now the children are cramped up and we are building a new project, it's 50 million, I need 50 people to give 1 million. By the time he's saying it, he, is not, he didn't put hand in their pocket, he didn't put gun to their head. There is invisible forces at work that you did not see that told them to stand up. Some of those people standing up, they have school fees to pay. They are pending project, but they have an understanding that this is an opportunity for me to be able to move to the next dimension. Thank God you are an elder. No matter who you are, you can never harvest what you have not planted. So the principle of planting and harvesting is a principle anywhere. It's universal. It's not about church. Now, you said when the people now need money, they come to the pastor and he tells them to come to God. That's the same problem. You know what did Dr. Sam say? That is the solution. But you didn't see it as a solution. You expect the pastor to give them money. No, the pastor did not get money by begging for money. He got money by getting it through the process that is now to go back to God. When they go to God, as he said, guess what happened? God will now tell them what to do to get the money. The problem we have with church is imbalance. Many of us go to church. Christianity is not a religion. It's a way of life. It's a relationship. Many of us are religious, but we are not Christians. When it comes to poverty, because all over our church, what are these pastors doing? They are collecting money from people. The job of the church, we are not a social welfare system. The church is not UNICEF. The church is not Red Cross. Cross. Our primary assignment is soul winning and transformation of lives. Our job is not to feed the poor, feed the widow, feed this. All those are secondary. Because if you feed everybody and they are not saved, they are going to hell. But we are now trying to make the church to think that ah, let's feed the poor. No, 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 no. The solution to poverty is not feeding, it's empowerment. When Jesus came, sir, let's go to the Bible and say to this so that all the people listening now can become an ambassador of this good news and let's stop deceiving ourselves. When Jesus came, he said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He has anointed me to heal the broken hearted, to open the eyes of the blind, to set the captives free. When he came to poor, he said to preach good news to the poor. He didn't say to give the poor money. When John the Baptist was in prison, he said, go and ask Jesus, are you the one or should we look for another? He said, go and tell John, the blind see, the lame walk, the dead are restored back to their people. The poor, he didn't say the poor has welfare or palliative. He said the poor ask the gospel preach to them. You see what we are doing today? Gospel to the poor. This is the solution to poverty. If you listen and you obey and you respond, you come out of poverty. But if you sit down here, they have money, they should come and give us. You give a man a fish, you keep him grounded. Yes. That's where fear mindset. Any country in the world, from America to China, anywhere they practice social welfare, go to America, they are all poor people. The only people that are rich are entrepreneurs. There are people that are collecting food stamps, going to eat London. Poor people are everywhere. When they are waiting for somebody to give, it is a wrong mindset. It is first inside. So if you are a beggar thinking that one person will give you money, you will remain poor. So that's not the solution, sir. The second one, what's the second one again? Just give me the two. Okay, you wrote out to go. Now, you see, the challenge again is a lot of people, What you can't give what you don't have. You heard my story. You heard Dr. Sam's story. We didn't come out telling people come and be a millionaire until we practice it and it worked. 
I started my journey 97, like I told you. I practiced it from 98. By 2001, my story has changed. By that 2001, I now knew that, wow, this thing worked. I now began to teach people so that it will not just be me or maybe not try your luck. When I now saw that this thing is working, that is when I now started seminar. So I started my first web creation seminar in 2001. After I be when when I know that I can write a check of one million, nothing will happen. Hello. Then I started the training. I did the training all over the country, all over the continent, part of the world. I produced millionaires in naira and dollar. Then I released my first web creation book in 2006. I'll be a millionaire because by then I was not just a millionaire. I was a millionaire in dollars. And then I have produced other people. So it was no more taste by moonlight. There is evidence. Do you understand? And that's how we moved on before we now came to school of money. Today, you heard them say it. Thousands of millionaires, by the grace of God, we have raised millionaires all over. We have even raised billionaires. One of them is standing here. <laughs> Life pays a billion, multi billion. And this is one of them is here. So all these things are not anything special. So that man, he did not wait. He's impatient. He did not wait to practice what is preaching for it to work for him. It doesn't mean the information he has is wrong. It doesn't mean the book will not give you what you will need. No. But he did not practice it. You can be a medical doctor telling people alcohol is bad, smoking is bad, and you die of alcohol and die of smoking. Why? Because it is not what you know. It is what you do with what you know. It is what you practice that works for you. So a lecturer can teach you. We can All these things we are saying now, there are people that have listened. They are echoes. They are not voices. <laughs> They run seminars and they talk about wealth. They are still in rent. <laughs> and they, they, will just, they will gather you people and collect money, forest trading, do that, that, uh, cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin. They, will do, they don't have anything because they have not practiced it for themselves for it to work. Solomon is the wisest man, yet he had 1,000 women in his life. Where is the wisdom? <laughs> he had wisdom to help other people solve their problem, but he did not apply the wisdom to his own life. So you can, have, you can be a marriage guru and fail in marriage you can be a finance guru and fail in finance because it is not the information you have to give people that helps you it's the information you utilize for your life that transforms you and makes you so that you can help others thank you wow on the path to creating well by the way for those of you in the hall um once we're done we'll, we'll take uh, dinner, all right? So please just exercise a little more patience. On the path to creating wealth, how does a person develop self-confidence and courage? Now, what did I say before? I say inform Asia. Whatever you want to develop, expose yourself to the information that will form you. Inflation, that will inflate you. <laughs> if a tire is deflated, what do you do? You pump air, the tire will come up. So if you are discouraged, you pump in courage, you become encouraged. If you have disappointment, you pour in. So anything you lack, receive. How do you receive? Information. Buy books, buy tapes, attend seminar on courage, on boldness. On, as you begin to receive that information, you will be transformed by the information. And then what, what is lacking will go. So we go back again. Information, association, mentorship. So you get the information. Number two, associate with people that will help you. They will help your Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. So I'll say to people that will help your fear, help your insecurity, help your unbelief. And then number three, have mentors. By the time you come on that mentorship and we knock your head, go and do this. You come by alpha. What is that? By next tomorrow, get back to me. You will behave. <laughs> Please a round of applause for Dr. <laughs> Lindsay. <Lindsay's audience. laughs> so, what are the ways to get started in real estate? Okay, real estate. Anything you want to do on earth begins with information. Anything. That's the first thing, information. Because the information is what makes you. So you be before you can do, before you can have the triangle. That's the key. So you want to be successful in real estate, become a real estate mogul inside first. Get books on real estate. Attend meetings on real estate. Attend seminars on real estate. Once you get all those information, that information will help you to understand the opportunities that are available. You will now merge the opportunity with your position and your strength, and then you're able to maximize it. So in real estate, you can either be a regulator, or you are a developer, or you are an investor, or you are a marketer. 
Hello. So you can be a regulator in real estate and decide to say, okay, I'm going to go into law. I want to go into this. Or you can be an investor. You invest in real estate just like you have seen all the opportunities we have unveiled before you today. Or you become a developer. You to start developing real estate. Or you become a realtor or a marketer. So like you heard them said, you either sell for us or you sell, you buy from us or you sell for us. So either way, you can start now. So that person now should join the tribe. So the first thing, join the tribe. The tribe will give you the information. The tribe will expose you to the opportunity. And maybe by the time we're having Global Wealth Summit 2021, you'll be here as a speaker sharing your story. 2022. 2022. <laughs> thank you. You'll be here as a speaker sharing your story. All right. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Now, someone's asking this question. He says, my question may be unpopular to Mr. Clement. Well, Mr. Clement should not be ask, answering questions when doctors are here. <laughs> Dr. Olumide is here. He says, so how can you transition from a salary earner to being wealthy? And then the second question is typically, how can the salary earner leverage on life page resources to becoming wealthy? Okay. Okay, I can answer that one. You answer the second yeah. one. Let me ask. You see now, <laughs> please remember again, first within, then without. You become it before you can achieve it. So listen. When you say you are a salary earner, stop being a salary earner. Become an entrepreneur. You see, you want me to no, 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 no. Even in that job, become an entrepreneurial staff. Yeah. Stop thinking salary. When you become an entrepreneurial staff, you will start thinking differently. An entrepreneurial staff will not be thinking, ah, they the main months finish, they pay also. An entrepreneurial staff will be thinking, how can we increase the turnover? Ah, the customers, we need to, how do we get more customers? Because I told you earlier on, you don't work to earn, you work to learn. That's why people have gone to work for 35 years and after they finally collect their gratuity, a small boy of 18 years will dupe them. Because for 35 years they have been earning and they have learned nothing. We get emails and focus. I have retired. I listen to you on television. Hey, I want to come and see you. What can you what, what hey, I have 3.5 million that they pay us. So hey, I don't know what to do. How can you spend 35 years in a service? They give you 3.5 million. You don't know what to do. That means for 35 years, it's a 35 years of confusion. You don't know what to do. Now 3.5 is your you don't know what to do because you have been any without learning. Do you know? So as a salary earner, number one, stop being a salary earner. Become an entrepreneur. You are still any salary, you don't get me not, not that you resign, but even as a staff, you are an entrepreneurial staff. Once you become an entrepreneurial staff, that change comes up on the inside, and then you begin to see opportunities. Then you start saving. Everybody must save at least 10% of all their income. If you don't save, you are not safe. I hope you know there's nothing called future. <laughs> there's nothing called future. The future is a concept. Today is the tomorrow you spoke about yesterday. When you enter tomorrow, it's today. Tomorrow never comes. So there is nothing called future. My future is bright and we get there. It's a lie. There's no future. <laughs> you can never enter a bright future except you create it. The future you create is the future you inhabit. So as a salary and when you start saving 10,000, what happens? After 10 months, you have 100,000. You can plug into life page. You are still a salary and now, but now you are now an entrepreneur. You can start saving 10,000. After a while, you join other people. Before you know it, you come flat or you buy tricycle. Money is coming every day. That's how it happens. So you must become it first. And then over a period of time, you will see it. Thank you very much, sir. I think that's the final question for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause for doctor. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Now, for the gentle man or woman who asked that question, how can a salary earner leverage on life page resources to become wealthy? We already mentioned it. Doctor already elaborated by giving that. All I'll just tell you to do is log on to tribe.lifepagegroup.com. Now, um, I'm a product of mentorship, but today, by the grace of God also, I'm a mentor to many. And so that platform is also a platform where I also train people and I groom them. And I'm very... Um, I'm, I'm convinced that by the time we start interacting and relating with each other, you will pick some of our brain and you see how to begin to maximize. I mean, uh, on, on this platform, people earn in millions. I mean, can I shock you? Should I say it? Is it safe, is it safe to say it? <laughs> is it safe to say it? Even last month, somebody earned 60 million just by referring business. 60 million. Do you get my point? So people earn 2.55 million. It's a normal thing. 
Do you know what I'm talking about? Just by referring business. Now, by time, now there are there are businesses that people have started that have not even seen 60 million in the turned over for a year. There are people who run their own business just by referring business to life. But they've made more money referring business to life pay than they have made in their own entire business. And we are learning um, about investment and all of those things. Then you can turn that active income because you have to work for that money to come. You turn the active income into passive income by hiding it in assets that generates for you cash flow. And these are many more of the things that, of, of many opportunities that we ex, um, extend to people. So I want to thank you so much. All our online viewers, we want to appreciate you for joining us for this epic event. This is, this is, how many of you agree with me that this is, this is one of a kind? <laughs> it's one of a kind. So on behalf of the board, management, and staff of LifePage, we want to say a big thank you to Dr. Lumide Emanuel, to Dr. Sam Adeyemi, uh, for gracing this occasion and for inspiring us and charging us to go and be more than we've ever been. I want to also thank you all for registering for this event. Thank you, those of you who joined online, those of you who are here with us on site. Um, the Global Wealth Creation Summit is an annual event, and so till next year, we'll be having another edition. And watch out. <laughs> watch out for another big uh, person that will be coming here to share with us. Later on in the year, we'll be having what we call the Mega Housing Summit. It's going to be taking place in October. And all of us will all be notified. We have thousands of people who registered for this event. Well over 5,000 people that registered for this event. So I'm not going to be surprised. I'm sure that there are people who are viewing this event. Um, one screen, 30 people. <laughs> or one screen, one person. So don't be deceived by the... And then the beautiful thing is that even those of us who are here can still watch it again and again. I want to say a big, big thank you to my members of uh, my colleagues at work, um, uh, to all the MDs of our subsidiaries, Mr. Kweolu Aouni, uh, Mr. Francis Adjilo, the MD of um, Million Homes, MD of um, Life Page Estates, Mr. Kweolu Aouni, and then MD of Sido Construction, Mr. David Uchegbo. To please, please, I want to plead with you all, help me celebrate, you know, our digital media team. Please. Please help me. Their, their leader is as the creative director of Olawale Victor Bakari. Please have me celebrating. You know, I have peace of mind because I, some people are handling many things that I don't have to bother my head about. These guys are extremely dedicated, extremely. Um, uh, Layu Arikawe, I celebrate you big time. Okoro, <laughs> Emmanuel Okoro, that's that's a great guy. I mean, these guys, you know, without I held the Realtors boot camp last last week Friday, I think, but last week Friday, these guys were on ground and then they were the one that arranged everything and all of those things. I I really 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 appreciate you guys, and I also want to thank. Uh, oh, can you imagine? How can I ignore the only one and only Degayo? Please help me celebrate the gentleman here. He's standing, he's sitting down as though he's a, he's a guest. He's a guest. Yes, and Michael Yusuf, a big thanks to all of you. And listen, um, those of you who register for this event, there's someone, there are people behind the scene who are working behind the scene and making things happen. Um, the, the, the relationship management team headed by Lovett Ibrahim. Please help me celebrate these people. In fact, even as we are here, they are still working, responding to different things and all of that. And help me celebrate Emmanuel Olushola. Olusoya, I beg your pardon. God bless you. I want to appreciate everyone, all members of staff, uh, uh, Bayo, Mr. Shola, our finance manager, head of accounts. Um, I, uh, I can go on and on and on. There are several that we decided and let everybody not come in here. Uh, let's invite some of our clients and let's have some of our people here. And so we want to sincerely, from the depth of my heart, I'm overwhelmed, as you can see. And I'm trying. Uh, please help me celebrate Larry and Shaw, you know, and his crew, his entire crew. 
I've had so much about him. And when they told me that uh, there's option, there's option, I said, no, I want to meet Larry Esho. So even if it's what to meet him, let us, is, the, is this company that we are going to engage. Please help me celebrate him once again <laughs> for an amazing work he's been doing. Uh, I've had so much about him. I'm just looking for the opportunity. And then this is not the opportunity to meet him. So I have your number now. I can call you, send you text message. All right. So thank you so much. Um, and then please we'll wait for further instruction on how the dinner would go. But please, let's honor my mentor, Dr. Limide Manuel, once again. Why are you taking me to? Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye for now. So we'll get other instruction on how we're talking about building enduring wealth there is none better than to use the safest and most reliable vehicle which is real estate here you have almost nothing to worry about we have a transparent platform and you can monitor your investment and cash flow by yourself and the most interesting part is that you can start with million homes flex for as low as 10,000 Naira and up to 20% compound interest. While with Million Home Swift and Swift Plus, you earn up to 50% returns with a network. Let's connect and then I'm available here too. We can network. So you will, you will file out um, with time and some of us will be called out uh, to be interviewed um, at the red carpet. Thank you very much. Talking about building enduring wealth. When I hear Life Page Group, what comes to my mind is an opportunity to convert my network to net worth. Life Page Group has given me access to multiple streams of income and financial independence programs. Do you want to be part of a workforce where talented individuals can succeed based on their levels of skills, regardless of background, social status, or location? Do you want access to multiple streams of income? You can make millions by partnering with us. As a Life Page Group partner, your effort is rewarded with mouth-watering bonuses and rewards like a weekend getaway, all expense paid trip overseas, cars and houses. We are driven by our commitment to making lives richer. Partner with us to achieve our goal while you live the life of your dream. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website, Life Page Group. Making lives richer. building enduring wealth there is none better than to use the safest and most reliable vehicle which is real estate here you have almost nothing to worry about we have a transparent platform and you can monitor your investment and cash flow by yourself and the most interesting part is that you can start with million homes flex for as low as 10,000 naira and up to 20 percent compound interest while with Million Home Swift and Swift Plus, you earn up to 50% returns with a capital of 500,000 and 10 million Naira, respectively, in 18 months. Lastly, we have Million Homes Light. You can enjoy up to 20% returns on investments upfront with a minimum capital of 10 million Naira within 12 to 18 months. No matter what your future concerns are, we have a special product just for you. And it's super easy to subscribe. All you have to do is create an account on invest.millionhomesafrica.com or download the Million Homes app from Play Store or the Apple Store. Choose your preferred investment option and then select your number of slots and make payments. Guess what? It's transparent and you can monitor your investment and cash flow all by yourself through your smartphone. What are you waiting for? 
Log on now to invest.millionhomesafrica.com and start growing your wealth. Million Homes. Live here or make it fund your living. Also, we have the Orange Apartment, a breathtaking masterpiece in the heart of Lagos, suited specially to satisfy your needs and give you peace of mind. This home can be yours with an initial deposit of 7 million naira and flexible payment up to 10 months. Only a few two and three bedroom units are available. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website housing.millionhomesafrica.com. enduring wealth. There is none better than to use the safest and most reliable vehicle, which is real estate. Here, you have almost nothing to worry about. We have a transparent platform and you can monitor your investment and cash flow by yourself. And the most interesting part is that you can start with Million Homes Flex for as low as 10,000 Naira and up to 20% compound interest. While with Million Home Swift and Swift Plus, you earn up to 50% returns with a capital of 500,000 and 10 million Naira, respectively, in 18 months. Lastly, we have Million Homes Light. You can enjoy up to 20% returns on investments upfront with a minimum capital of 10 million Naira within 12 to 18 months. No matter what your future concerns are, we have a special product just for you. And it's super easy to subscribe. All you have to do is create an account on invest.millionhomesafrica.com or download the Million Homes app from Play Store or the Apple Store. Choose your preferred investment option and then select your number of slots and make payment. Guess what? It's transparent and you can monitor your investment and cash flow all by yourself through your smartphone. What are you waiting for? Log on now to invest.millionhomesafrica.com and start growing your wealth. Million Homes, live here or make it fund your living. What comes to my mind is an opportunity to convert my network to net worth. LifePage Group has given me access to multiple streams of income and financial independence programs. Do you want to be part of a workforce where talented individuals can succeed based on their levels of skills, regardless of background, social status, or location? Do you want access to multiple streams of income? You can make millions by partnering with us. As a LifePage Group partner, your effort is rewarded with mouth-watering bonuses and rewards like a weekend getaway, 
all expense paid trip overseas, cars, and houses. We are driven by our commitment to making lives richer. Partner with us to achieve our goal while you live the life of your dream. Call any of our numbers to make inquiries. You can also visit our website, LifePage Group, making lives richer.